From Gabriel's FedEx Forum on Beale Street in downtown Memphis, Tennessee, the Memphis Grizzlies open the 21-22 NBA season against the Cleveland Cavaliers. Here's Morant going strong to the rack, took the hit, and finished anyway over Markkanen. Morant stepped through scoop and score. Sort of mismatch with Markkanen and immediately attacked him. And Morant. Pardon, it was, he was down the floor and scoring at the rim in five seconds. Oh, look, look at this look jump ball play to Morant. Oh, that is so well done. Rubio trying to get a scoop shot away, and Morant says, nope, not in our house. It's nice back door. Yep. Morant cutting back door. Adams' passing ability has been a bit of a revelation. Morant exploding to the rack. Oh, nice cut. <laughs> oh, wow. Grizzlies were so good on baseline out-of-bounds plays last year. Morant put on the line, a long two for John Morant. There's Ja right down the lane. Well, their pick and roll defense tonight has been carved up by John ja Morant. Morant against Markinen, scoops and scores. The other thing that he has, the creativity around the rim, the ability to score while contorting his body, tremendous in this first half. Morant drives, pitches it out. Bain for three. Bingo! Big make by Bain. Market and going long. Oh! oh the block by Morant! A sensational skyscraper block! Unbelievable play from Ja Morant. Morant against Sexton. Six to shoot. Wrap around Adams for the dunk. Mobley. Oh, smothered by Jaron. Loose ball picked up by the Grizzlies. Melton. Lob! Mobley short armed it and a one handed rebound by John ja Moran. Got a screen. Sets up Anderson. His three is through. Kyle Anderson, his second three ball of the game. Moran here gets all the way to the rim. Again on a screen and roll action. Such a creative finisher for this team. Moran on the runway. Takes it to the rack. The speed, the quickness, the creativity, it is all there. Morant finding an opening in the lane. Just going sideways, floating, finding the seam. Morant probing dribble, teardrop, got the bounce. Morant, yes! Garland, his three not there. Morant first to the rebound, leaking out. Melton lays it up and lays it in. Cavaliers don't have a foul to give. Screened by Adams. Josh Leader hits in. Ice water in his veins. And the Grizzlies will go to 1 0 on the season. The Grizzlies start a four game rodeo tonight. They take on the Los Angeles Clippers. Clippers won two of three from the Grizzlies a year ago. Bain thought about stepping into a three. Pump fake, fly by, and his three is through. Morant off the bounce. Jaron, shot clock down to seven. His three is through, Jaron Jackson Jr. Oh, what a picking of the pocket by Morant. He slaloms against Jackson. Hangs, drops it off to Melton for the finish. That's a good move here by Adams. Adams. Morant, shot clock at nine. Bango! Morant on a blow bite to the cup, lays it in off glass, and a timeout taken by the Los Angeles Clippers. Morant. Showing some moves with this finish at the cup. Adam screens. Morant takes flight off glass and puts it in. John Morant. His craftiness, Brevin, his ability to finish right at the rim, remarkable. This is Morant. Fancy footwork and finish with the left. The pass. Adams underneath off the setup by Morant. Fifth assist for John Morant. Morant's open for three. Bango. John ja Morant with 15. His second three-point make of the game. Morant. Little ball fake. DeAnthony for three. He is so confident with that three-point shot right now. Probing dribble. Floater. No. Jaron the rebound. Had it knocked away, but regathers anyway. Melton shovels. Morant to the rim and in. And the Grizzlies have the lead. Morant against Morris. Going behind the back. Mm. Lean. Scoops mm. and scores. Oh, what a play by Morant. Must watch TV is what Morant is. Morant, oh, Zubox with a two-handed block. Morant behind Adams, scoops and scores in another case where Steven Adams helps to create a legal lane for Ja to drive and finish. 
Morant. Oh, what a wow. great drop off in Steven Adams, the finger roll. Morant against Hartenstein. Takes him inside, goes to the goal and finishes. We said that the Clippers switching everything. Morant takes advantage of it. Morant Ooh. takes, plate scoops and scores. Oh, what a pretty play by John Morant. <laughs> you let him get to that left hand and then be able to jump. You're at his mercy. Morant, Jaron for three. Bingo! Oh, my, Jaron Jackson Jr. An enormous shot with 16.7, tripling the Grizzlies up five. Kyle Anderson comes in defensively. Paul George for three. Rimming, no. It's boarded by Bain with 11 seconds remaining, and he's fouled. Hammer, nail, coffin. This baby is over, and the Grizzlies are 2-0, and oh, coming from 13 down to win it. 120 to 114 is your final. All right, here we go. Let's go. Downtown Los Angeles, the end of this really interesting and exciting sports weekend. Tonight, the Lakers take on the Memphis Grizzlies. Jaw wants to attack its double team in traffic. Oh, look at that pass to Adams as everybody drawn to Ja. There's Ja going right to the basket and scores with the left hand. Morant, he's becoming a much better three-point shooter. Boy, if he gets that going, he is going to be elite, elite. Get back with Morant defensively. They had that scouted well. Morant, and contact by Bazemore. Lakers looking to reclaim the lead with under three remaining first quarter. James drives, blocked by Kyle Anderson. Another fast break opportunity. Morant, lobs for Clark. And the Grizzlies capitalize on that fast break opportunity. Moran, Tillman with the floater. Moran for three. Yes! That's a big make for the Grizzlies right now. We're within five off the three point make by Moran. Bain, an open three, fly by Westbrook. Yes! Find the hot hand, and Desmond Bain has a hot hand here in this second quarter. Morant, a deep three, bingo! John Morant, his third triple in four tries. 14 for Morant, he's the game high scorer. Here's Morant, another three, good again! John Morant! DeAndre Jordan with a block of Morant, but he finds Adams underneath. Nice find. And Morant dunks. Morant against DeAndre Jordan. Offensive rebound. Adams, another offensive rebound. The dish, Morant, yes! Five to shoot. Ja elevates, hangs off the glass and in! Holy cow, what a play by Morant! <laughs> Hang time, air time, bucket. Shot clock down to eight. Morant has it back. Guarded by Jordan and Monk. Anderson dotted line, and Kyle put it in. His first make of the night. Morant slithering through and slams with two hands. Must see TV is what John Morant is. Oh my goodness. This kid is something else. Look at his pass. Bob for Clark. Morant spins, scoops, and scores. Another amazing play by John Morant. I'm trying to tell you, park basketball at the NBA level is what we see on a regular basis from him. Desire Williams with a corner three. Knocked down two of them last night. Knocks down his first one here tonight. Morant drives. Oh, and what a find to Xavier Tillman. Grizzlies lead is three. Morant over Reeves for three. Bingo! Morant slithering through, banking it in. 32 for Morant. James again driving, missing. Good help there by Jaron. Great timing. Morant going straight to the rack and banking it in. He had Anthony Davis back on his heels, and Morant a one man fast break. Russ is going to try to get to the rim. Too hard. Rebound by Carmelo. Carmelo has the huge offensive rebound and basket. Morant fouled. Lakers want to review it. They have one in their pocket. It's a replay that determined the, coach, the coach's challenge by the Lakers is successful. They'll receive their timeout back. We'll resume play with a jump ball center circle jump between two in the game. A lost opportunity. Moran hangs in the air. Comes up short. It's going to be Memphis ball again. Lakers lead by three. Stolen by Davis. The coach's challenge by Memphis. It's a replay that determined that the coach's challenge is successful. Give them their timeout back. Memphis ball, side out, 49.0 on the game clock. Wow. 
its way. Melton, air ball out of bounds, or did it not go out of bounds? It was trying to be saved by Morant. Boy, LeBron was letting it go, and then LeBron gets fouled by Bain. Carmelo Anthony on its way. Rebound, looking rough. Sky to get the rebound. Now it's a scramble underneath, and Memphis comes out with it. Shot clock is off. Lakers foul him. One point game. Well, they got a foul at some point, and they do right there. Two big free throws for Malik Monk, and the Lakers lead by three. Will they get a shot away before the Lakers foul him? No, they foul him immediately. And now here's uh, Jackson, and he throws it up and in. Russ has got to get it in, and he does to AD, and they foul him. The clutch, Anthony Davis drills them both. There's the switch. And it's, switch in, it's in. It's Morant. Morant goes in and fires up a three on its way. They fouled him. The ultimate pressure. Got to make them all. Morant got the first. So make or miss. He missed it. He missed it. And a foul. Well, Carmelo made it. And that's it. Lakers have their first win that was of the season. Morant and DeAnthony Melton in the backcourt. Desmond Bain, Jaron Jackson Jr. is back and healthy. Steven Adams also on the front line for Memphis. Grant corralled by Nurkic and Lillard. Jaron Jackson Jr., that little float game of his, is one of the things that he's been working on. Grant averaging 35 per game coming in. Got Little on his hip. Kicks it out to Bain for three. Got it. I love the patience of John Moran. Nice left-handed pass off the bounce. Adams inside with the finish. Steven Adams replacing Jonas Valanciunas at the five this year in that trade. It sent Valanciunas to the New Orleans Pelicans. And I'm not so sold on Nurkic's uh, expanded role. Why is You're that? You're playing with dynamic as a great feed from John Moran. Just what I'm about to say. You're playing with a dy dynamic perimeter player like John Moran. Damian Lillard, C.J. McCollum, set screens, dive to the rim. Your role will be expanded. That jumper a little bit strong by Zaire Williams. First round pick out of Stanford. Out top now to Moran. Seven on the shot clock. Still looking for his first field goal. Kicks it to the corner. Williams going to try another one. And this one is good. Zaire Williams, just 20 years old. Moran. And there's his first field goal. He's shooting extremely well from three-point territory so far this year. Eight of 18 coming into the ball game tonight. Rand with a relatively quiet first half here. Just three points. Like I said, just six points. <laughs> McCollum missing the layup. Portland, though, back well in transition defensively. Bain with the midi. And rattles at home. Desmond Bain having a hot shooting first half. Lillard now back to guarding Moran. Over to wide open Jackson. And his three is good. He connects. But just stellar play by John Moran. Directs the traffic, gets the screen to roll, finds a wide open Jackson for the open three. Lillard guarded by Melton. They double team him, which leads to a wide open Covington. Rattles halfway down and out. And Morant takes it into the front court. Well, I'm Coach Jenkins. I'm concerned about our pick and roll defense. They're getting quality looks. Morant and one with the left hand. Six point Blazer lead. Morant to the basket. Blocked by Nurkic. Got it back. Williams kicks it out to Anderson. One more to a wide open jaw. Got it. And he silences the Motor Center crowd. Morant rising up. Yeah, that's what we saw a lot last year, Mark, in the play-in tournament and in the playoffs against the Jazz. Bain on the drive, high off glass. Desmond Bain having a nice night here. He's up to 19, staring down Lillard. Kicked it out to the corner, Tillman for three. Got it! Xavier Tillman Sr. with the long ball. 7.20 to go. Blazers comfortably ahead. Merrill knocks down the three. 116 to 96, the final. At Chase Center, the beginning of the eight game homestand. This is going to be a very interesting eight games in the Bay. John Morant's got Looney on a switch. In the mid range. 
tonight. He hasn't shot many mid-range shots. He's almost all. eliminated from his game. Oh, John Morant there. DP2, he's there to deal with Morant. They made him give it up, but Stevie Adams is hurting the Dugs. Running the floor. That's a rare warrior defensive misuse. And this is one where they go deep. And that's Xavier Tillman coming in. Anthony Melton probing. John Moran shot a deep three there. John Moran mid range right there. It's the floater. John Moran get ready for a big second half. John Moran. Same play. That angled screen from the wing. He loves it. He just snakes it. Snake dribbles in there. Come on! As John Morant is fouled. I thought I was frustrated watching 21 turnovers against the Clippers. This is 15 turnovers with 825 remaining in the third. Another turnover will be a layup on the other end. And making it go. Cherry pick. When cherry picking works out. John Morant hiding behind Stevie Adams. We promised a John Morant second half, and it's coming to fruition. Ooh, John Morant knows that. Crafty's tricky. Look at this drive. It's handles, you're going by Otto Porter. Ball over the top. Couldn't find a teammate. Trying to give him a taste of their own medicine. He is a four. Shot clock at three. John Morant. Shot for Dan. He's leaving it up there. That was a cold-blooded three there. Darren Jackson down the line, putting it up and in, and that's where he can really be lethal. D. Lee, corner three. She just call him Mr. Big Shot. Curry to inbound. To Draymond back to step for the rim. Aaron Jackson using that side, but Draymond played the D and Kyle Anderson got the rebound. He was just in the right place at the right time. It was such a bad miss. Two, two screens for Curry. Damian Lee three. He is ever ready. Draymond attacking, cutting Iguodala. Beautiful defense. Unbelievable with the blocks. Kicked it out to Melton. Looking for a seed down the line to take the lead. He's the only one, one too. Stephen Jaren Jackson again. Shoots over him. Bring it out. John Morant. Hesitation. There was absolutely nothing there. And he created something. It's imperative you score this trip down. Step for three. He is 8 for 6 since the third quarter, and they've all been missed threes. He lead for three. And that likely is going to do it. So Memphis puts the first L on the Warriors record, 104-101 in overtime. On this beautiful 59 degrees Saturday night in Memphis, Tennessee, the red-hot Miami Heat hope to keep on rolling and winning inside the FedEx Forum. The 4-1 four Heat have won three games in a row, including last night by 15 against Charlotte. The 3-2 and two Grizzlies are led by their high-scoring, high-flying point guard, Sean Moran. And to Jean Moran. That is what he has done to the tune of 30 points per game this year. Morris, double, cross court for Tucker. Dangerous pass. And a takeaway by Jean Moran. That's Melton. That's good. Well, Moran does a good job with a probing dribble on the break. Looks across and is able to find Melton out beyond the arc. Steven Adams on the throw down. John Moran with a brilliant assist. That's his third assist. It's an eight-point heat lead. It's Kyle Anderson loading up. He's a good shooter. Only his fourth triple of the season, though, the eight-year vet out of UCLA. Heat ahead by 12. Biggest lead so far tonight for Miami. And another 30-point quarter for the Heat is Moran. Biggest slow for the score. So crafty. Again, at 6'3", 175 pounds, able to get Max Struess into the painted area. Darrell, the rookie out of Utah. 
Utah State. That's Morant for three. John Morant, his 14th triple this year, his ninth point tonight. Peter, 10 of 14 from three tonight. The miss from John Morant, that's one of the best offensive two rebounders in the world. Steven Adams setting up John Morant. Over five offensive rebounds, he averages a game. He's made a living doing that. Miami in front by 15. Minute 30 left in the first half. Moran drew a crowd. Melton was open. That's what happens. Can't take away everything. Melton with 10 points. Jimmy Butler the night with 18 points in his first half. That's a triple for Desmond Bain. Last player picked in the 2020 first round has tripled three times in the second quarter. Look at that closeout by P.J. Tucker on Jean Moran defending the lightning quick point throw. And Moran able to score. Moran with 14 points in. Moran almost turned it over. This is Jaron Jackson. A little push. Looked like he was shot putting that. Oh, oh my God. From Lowry was perfectly thrown. And look at Lowry, the pit bull point guard. Deadman again on the offensive glass, and they let him play through all that contact. Jerry Jackson just lodging the ball. That's John Moran. And it counts, and Dwayne Deadman does pick up his fifth foul. Here Rejected by Jaron Jackson. And the breakaway for Payne. Timeout Miami with just under five minutes left in the third quarter. There's a steal by Melton. Off the lob from Lowry. Moran. Oh, and a foul. Well, if you're going to foul him, you're going to wrap him up better than that. Tyler Hero giving a chance for Morant at a three-point play. So a 26-point victory for the Heat to go to five and one. Miami has now won four in a row. Memphis, Tennessee, home of the Blues and the birthplace of rock and roll. Tonight, the Denver Nuggets take on the Memphis Grizzlies. John Morant tied with Steph Curry for the scoring lead in the NBA. And a nice dish to Steven Adams. The Grizzlies are three and three. Jackson's going to try it again, and he rattles in another one. Question of whether John was going to play today and banged his elbow in that Miami game. Morant. Morris has it stripped. It's two on one. Barton the man back, and the easy lay in. Timeout, Denver. And the Nuggets. And that one banks in, so Jaron Jackson, wow, went 0 for 8, now he's 3 for 3, now Jaw in the lane, missed it, but he puts it up and in. John Morant back in, and inside, Tillman scores it. Jaw. Oh, he's good, isn't he? He sure is. Really smooth. 54 to 51. Inside his jaw. Got to pin him in there. Now, screen and roll coming. Jaw, long range. Ooh. Did not have that in his game early on in his career. All right, the Nuggets could hit some threes. They're just two of 15 in that first half. Memphis, seven of 17. Wow. Jaw Morant now with 16 points. Corner three is good. Anthony Melton inside. John Morant rolls one home. Well, John Morant averaging 28 and a half. Adams setting just a monster screen there. And the Nuggets claiming that Adams touched it on the rim. Wide open is Williams. And again, no one wants to run out there to the corner. Bones coming in. And he missed it. Just just overshot. Boy, that would have been a nice play for the Nuggets. Instead, it's a four-point switch. Jaw trying to get by Bones. Does. He gets a little of that, that little hand push off. They're allowing that. Jaw Moran. And barking at the Nuggets bench as he goes by. Nuggets will drop to four and three. Well, John Morant, he is. He sure is. Well, Memphis, I wouldn't say they're rubbing it in, but John Morant talking a bunch of trash. It's a big Wednesday in the state of Tennessee. We welcome you to the FedEx Forum, where tonight the Denver Nuggets face off with the Memphis Grizzlies. Desmond Bain is good from three. And the three-point.
three-pointer from the corner is good by De'Anthony Melton. He's got 28.3 points per game. He's third in the NBA in scoring now behind Steph and Paul George. And that is 14 unanswered points now. Well, Adams is open under the bucket, and he lays it in. John Morant has it. 2020 Rookie of the Year. Morant spinning up and in, and Green may be hurt. So John Morant, so far, four points, three rebounds. In the lane, oh, set up for Williams. Williams got 11 shots off the other night. And he knocks it in. They flash out on Ja. Oh, that's a great shot. Don't let Ja get to the basket. There he goes. 360 spin. That's good. Long pass. Oh my intercepted. God. Ja Morant. And that is the end of a wild and woolly second quarter. 56. 55, Memphis has the lead. Terrible pass at a terrible angle. And it, 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 you're talking about a play on the other end that gets the momentum one way. This is one this. Morant. Draw Morant. Who they're calling the foul on. Uh, they're called on Gordon Reachin. Gordon trying to stick with Morant. And Morant with an acrobatic shot off the window. Bain backing up, lets it go, and hits. Desmond Bain, a confident three-point shooter. Jaw breaks through and puts it up and in. Well, you can't let him get by. Four to shoot. Bain pulls the trigger. Ooh, he can shoot. Jokic with it, breaks through, coming underneath, puts it up and in. They double-team, Jaw's got it. And Gordon again. He gets the second. 108, 106, 8.9. Bring it into Barton. Go now. Barton looks for Jokic. Jokic has it. Five to shoot. Jokic in the lane to tie. No. And Memphis has won it. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the excitement of the NBA from fabulous FedEx Forum on Beale Street in downtown Memphis, Tennessee. The Memphis Grizzlies return home to start a homestand as they take on the Minnesota Timberwolves, who are starting a four-game road trip. Jaden McDaniels defending Jaron Jackson Jr. See if they get something with Jaron going towards the basket. Steven Adams able to get an and one on that stumble to the basket. Melton hesitates. Ball fake Morant. Yes. Morant, good defense by Russell against the shot clock. A three is through by DeAnthony Melton. Morant around a high screen, dotted line, floats it up and in. Jaron has it spiked back. Loose ball picked up by Morant. Melton, an angle three. It's through. Back to back threes by DeAnthony Melton. John Morant finishes. Wrap around. Oh, a block by Kyle Anderson. And another block, that one by Jaron. Three on one. Kyle, lob, and the rim slams! How sweet it is! 11 straight by the home team, and they're on their feet at FedEx Forum. The Grizzlies the lead 26 24. Morant, angle three. Bango! Grizzlies now four of five from downtown. Tillman screens. Morant down the lane. No look. Clark reverses it up and in. Pretty play. Set up by Morant. Kyle Anderson is open. Yes! It's a three for Kyle Anderson. And the Grizzlies, five of six. Ja trying to create 360 spin. Yes, sir! Facing down Carl Anthony Towns, a 360 spin. And the Grizzlies match their largest lead of the game at 71 to 62. This is down 14. Morant's three is through. Ja Morant with 22. Morant. Yes! Foul, did not get a whistle. Jaron steps out for three. Bingo! Two-point game, 108-106. Towns backs down against Morant. Behind his back, McDaniels. No! Denied! Grizzlies ball. One minute remaining in regulation. Morant off the bounce. Oh! Dunks to tie the game at 108! What a gutsy move by Morant. 108 apiece. Towns. Gonna put it on the deck. Travel. They call the travel. The whistle was late. You can barely hear it here, but it was the correct call.
Morant against Towns. Ja, three for the lead. Bingo! Oh my goodness! Right between the eyes! No timeout. Russell drives, hangs, and draws a foul. Well, here's the one thing the Grizz like to do. First and foremost, everyone box out. Yes. In case Russell misses the free throw. He does not. Bain against a Kogi. Got it to Melton. Got to get it across. And Kyle Anderson. Now they called an eight second violation on the Grizzlies. One point Grizzlies lead. D'Angelo Russell with it. Drives. Oh, and a goal. It's a goal 10 by Jaron. It's a goal 10 by Jaron Jackson Jr. After reviewing the call, the play has been overturned. No goal tending. The ball was loose. The game clock will be reset to 6.1 and jump ball center circle any two. Jaron tapped it out of bounds. Jaron tapped it out of bounds. Again, Minnesota does not have a timeout. Five second call. Nobody else from the Timberwolves ever moves to come to the basketball. I've never seen anything like this. Morant. Edwards knocks him down with 2.5. And Morant makes them both. Here we go. 1.1. Towns for the tie. Oh my Banked God. it in. And we're headed overtime. Now listen, at the end of the day, this is a desperation shot from almost half court that banks in. You give Carl Anthony Towns all of the credit. Jaron trying to free himself. He's being held. Bain, yes. And the Grizzlies got the first lead of overtime. Morant to the rim. Bank, no, but he did draw a foul. And Morant working on a 31-point night for Ja, his fourth 30-point game of the season. And Jaron just committed his sixth foul. Russell with 28. Russell floats it up and in to tie the game at 117 with two minutes remaining. Moran slipping through. Melton reversing it in for the lead. 119-117. Beasley has Morant on a switch. Ja drives, backhands it up. No, tip by Clark is in. Four-point lead. Edwards off the bounce. And free throws coming here for Minnesota. Edwards, one of two. Kyle Anderson, Melton, a three. Clark offensive rebound, puts it in. Oh, Brandon Clark, have yourself a game. Hammer, nail, coffin, this baby is over. And the Grizzlies have now gone three straight on the home floor. They go to six and four in Minnesota has now lost five in a row. No bluffing, everyone. The Hornets are almost home. We're in the Bluff City, Memphis, Tennessee. Tonight, the sidewalk ends at the FedEx Forum. It's the fifth game of a five-game road trip. Gordon Hayward and your Charlotte Hornets gonna take on Ja Morant and the Memphis Grizzlies. Here's Ja Morant with a touch, shaded by Terry Rozier to begin the game. So far, so good for Memphis. They shot three times and made them all. Here's Lamello's first shot. Oh, for Lamello. that's a tough shot. He may have stepped on a, a shoe over there in that the high price seat. Man, beat continues. Four possessions, four two point field goals for Memphis. John Morant, the floater. Oh, wow. Nice. Stealth sneak oh, attack floater. They're trying to prove me wrong when I say the two pointers <laughs> aren't going to work. John Morant, three pointer. That's why Jackson left the paint. Ja lost it on the way up. Still was able to give a no-look pass to Jackson. Incredible. Morant's doing his thing. Man, he is off to a fantastic start. Ja Morant can get wherever he wants to go on the floor. He can go wherever he wants on the floor. Here comes Ja Morant. Oh. That hit Nick Richards in the face. The pass was intended for Oubre. John Moran explodes for two more. Cody Martin locked at the last moment. I think Brandon Clark got a piece of that. And Morant, what a quarter for John Morant. 19 points in 10 minutes. Does that count? Up and down, John Morant. So Ja is back. First points of the quarter, and it's a chance for a three-point play. And it's stolen away by Morant. Uh-oh. Dylan Brooks. John Morant gets two free throws and the layup. Wow. Quick crossover explodes off his feet. Jackson. Three-pointer, Jaron Jackson. Stolen away. Here's Brooks. 
almost didn't get it there. Man, there's no quitting John Moran. He's got one speed, and it's about 100 miles an hour. You got to wall him up. Morant whips a pass, Conchar. That's a heck of a dime. Get that. Dylan Brooks. Three ball for Brooks. He's played a really good game in his first game this season. And a really late whistle. You can't get much later of a whistle than that. Gordon Hayward makes it a 14-point lead. And Taylor and, Jenkins. And that, officially called off the dog. They may, they may let him sit with a pilot. <laughs> we'll get an extra granola bar. <laughs> Window dressing. The Hornets finally get one. They need all five games to finally get a W. After going 0 for California, they take down the Grizzlies here on a Wednesday night in Memphis. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the excitement of the NBA. Grizzlies basketball on Valley Sports is presented by FanDuel Sportsbook. From fabulous FedEx Forum on Beale Street in downtown Memphis, Tennessee, the Memphis Grizzlies coming off a Wednesday night loss at home to Charlotte, take on the Red Hot Phoenix Suns, who have won six in a row. Booker with a misfire. The star of the Portland game for Phoenix was Frank Kaminsky. Hey. Morant Haynes hits and draws the foul. Lob for Adams from Morant. Morant in the lane, and John Morant continues to lead the league in paint points. Only guard in the top five. You know what? Whenever we start to go down that road of with the shot there, but better gets the three to go down. We start to go down that road of former Grizzlies. I, the Vancouver side is, is is gone from my mind. I always just lock into Memphis Grizzlies players. You know, the reason why Chris Paul is 17 years in the league. He's a smart and savvy player. Finds Kaminsky missing the floater. Morant first to speed. Oh. And Jack carries it down. Oh, Morant hit, hit the turbo button and threw it down with force. Morant creating off the bounce. Jaron. I like the ATO by the Grizzlies getting the ball with dribble penetration, getting it to Jaren for his first bucket of the game. Crowder hits a three. Crowder now three of four from beyond the arc. And Crowder has broken his string. Moran, that's easy to drop. Oh, blocked by Zaire Williams. Morant in the lane. Yes. And Taylor Jenkins getting after David Guthrie again about the lack of a foul call. If you're never going to be able to stop the other team, you don't give yourself a chance to win. So if I can't stop you, you got to find somebody that can do the stopping. Morant can do the scoring. Chris Paul for three. Morant with a running start. Doesn't have numbers. Crosses over in the lane. Goes to the cup and lays it in again. Booker and a foul. Morant drives, elevates, and hits. Oh, oh, McGee, man, just got out of the way. Yeah. You know I mean? we are, we're, we're up. No need of me being on any type poster. I'll just vacate the area. Morant behind the back. Jaren puts it in. This ball is such a better. They, they were not set up. So, what, I mean, David Guthrie tried to give him the ball. He acted like I was standing in the wrong place as Jaren knocks down that top of the key three. Yes, sir, he's standing in the wrong place so that he can delay the handing him the ball one more second so that his team can get set up. Chris Paul, look at the in and out dribble. He elevates, he can't hit. Rebound Morant, his 11th. And Morant still knows only one speed, full speed. 26. For Morant, Aldama, and that does it. 119-94 is your final. Phoenix leads wire to wire. Second wire to wire loss for the Grizzlies this season. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the excitement of the NBA. Grizzlies basketball on Valley Sports is presented by FanDuel Sportsbook from Smoothie King Center in New Orleans. Memphis Grizzlies and New Orleans Pelicans beat both teams on a back-to-back. -back. Both lost last night. New Orleans losing here to Brooklyn at home. Grizzlies getting blown out at home against the Phoenix Suns. Morant attacking and dropping it off to Steven Adams, who of course played last year here for the Pelicans. Had 13 double-doubles for the Pelicans and his first career triple-double. 
Morant, dribble drive, slaloms, hangs, hits over Valanciunas. Favorite Morant is when you crowd him, you play into his hands, he's able to get downhill. And he's just continuing to do such a good job with that little floater in the paint. Here's Morant for three, it's through for John Morant. Ronnie Guidry, outstanding news and sports photographer in Memphis, making the trip down here to New Orleans and taking it in as a fan, a rare opportunity for Ronnie to watch a game as a fan instead of with a camera in his hand. Here's Morant coming to the elbow with seven to shoot. A lot more comfortable watching it this way as Morant knocks down the three. deep three. Meanwhile, Zaire Williams getting his first action for the Grizzlies. Williams, a corner three. That's his spot, Zaire Williams, with the fourth Grizzlies triple of the game. Sadoransky, good distributor of the basketball. Blocked yes. by Clark. Ball loose, picked up by Morant. Brooks is back in. An open three. Down the well it goes for Dylan Brooks. It all started with great defense. Active hands on the defensive side, forcing the turnover. Seven to shoot for Morant against Hart. Hesitation move. Flip that falls. That's stopping go there from, by Morant. That was special by John Morant. Wow. Graham on a throwback. Valanciunas the pump fake, drives on Adams. Swings a wild hook that's boarded by John Morant. A look ahead to Brooks. Backhanded layup is in. Ingram, a little bit of Matador defense. And Dylan Brooks with nine. And one thing for the Grizzlies partner is if, when they're playing the two bigs on the floor, most teams don't have two bigs. So the bigger guys has to take Steven Adams. That's where Jaron has to use his size, strength, and abilities to create an advantage. Morant is a matchup nightmare every night. Good screen at the foul line to spring him loose. Grizzlies have nine more shots on goal. They've gotten offensive rebounds. They force turnovers, but not shooting it well. Anderson, that's a three, and it's through for Kyle Anderson. His first three-point make of the game, seven for Kyle. Hart, another stop. Three on three. Morant turns on the burners, hangs, and yes. hits. Foul on Garrett Temple, and the Grizzlies bench erupts with that make by Morant. 2.9. Bain. 4-3, it's through! Desmond Bain bails the Grizzlies out of a tight spot with 2.9 on the shot clock. Ingram curls, sends it. And the rebound, Morant, five and a half remaining. Bain, good closeout by Graham. Ja for three, bango! Timeout, New Orleans. Ingram hits. Hayes came off, I beg your pardon. Valanciunas is in with Ingram, Graham Jones, and Murphy. DB for three, it's through. Dylan Brooks responds. A season high 23 for Dylan. Ja, yes. 22 and 10 for Morant. You know with Valanciunas, you know that he is going to stay in the paint as this one is over. And the Pelicans have their first home win of the season. And second win, they end their nine game losing streak. Good evening everybody and welcome to the excitement of the NBA. The Memphis Grizzlies play host to the Houston Rockets. Morant in the lane and the Grizzlies have the lead at seven to five. Three ball, Morant, yes! Kyle lines the three, it's through! This, to be able to find Kyle Anderson clear cross court in the deep corner. A perfect pass for the three from Morant. Morant hits another three and a deep three here in this first half. Morant here on the speed dribble all the way to the basket. Off of a made free throw. Morant, Jaron, tough catch. Puts it in. Jot down the lane, flips it up and in. Anderson pops out high. Morant down the lane, faces up and got the time bounce. Morant against a double team, five to shoot. Top side, Jaron triple try, it's in. Jaron Jackson Jr., his second triple. Jaron, deep position and a finish over take. Green off his foot. And then he goes for the steal and Morant says nope and walks into a three. Bango! Jalen Green is going to be a very good player. John Morant is already a great player, and you saw it on that possession. Morant pulls up for another, another three. 
Kevin Porter Jr. just went down. Morant through the, through the lane. He, he wants street ball. See here, Morant just navigates his way to the rim and then look at the finish. He doesn't use the glass. Well, look at this hustle. Melton the steal. Kyle with the right-handed slam. Get up, Jersey. Lob for Clark. Oh, no look. Jersey's with six in double figures, 14 steals, 33 points off of 18 Houston turnovers. The streamers fall from the heavens, and the Grizzlies get a win, ending their three-game losing streak. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the excitement of the NBA. The Memphis Grizzlies welcome in the Los Angeles Clippers, one of the hottest teams in the NBA. They have won eight of their last nine. They're coming off a Tuesday night win over the San Antonio Spurs. Morant with eight to shoot. Dylan comes top of the key, fires over Bledsoe and rings the bell. Dylan Brooks, 16 points Monday against Houston. Ja, deep three. Yes! And a mismatch, Zubat's calling for it, being fronted by Morant, and Morant knocks it away anyway. Morant attacking, hanging, off last, Ja Morant. Morant's back in, pump fake, baseline, reverse, and in! Oh my! Ja Morant! Here's Morant, an elbow jumper, that's in. Jackson drives, misses the floater. Steven Adams rakes in his Sixth rebound of the game, and a look ahead to Dylan, who reverses it up and in. Nice job out of Grizzlies, forcing a fast break. Morant hanging and hitting, wow. Bain, a sidestep, triple try, it's in. Desmond Bain, his second triple of the night. Morant with a floater. Ties the game at 71. Morant, foul line leaner is in. 15 for Morant. The reason why the Grizzlies don't have a double-digit lead. Oh, wow. John, oh, wow. what a move! Oh, wow. Morant. Try to get a stanky face on that one. I think Morant gave the stanky face on that one, partner. Morant, a pull-up. Adams, offensive rebound. Oh, good pass. Back to Morant for the finger wow. roll. Morant with an answer. Ja fades, fires, and fills it up! Timeout, Clippers! Ja. Jaren. Banks it in. Jaren, dotted line. Yes! Grizzlies' largest lead of the game. Quick look ahead. Morant going to the rack and reversing it in. Right, right at Reggie Jackson. Taking him right to the rack. The blur down the floor. One on three with the finish. On cue. 28 for Morant. And a ball game is over, but that's deflating for Sam Merrill, who comes down awkwardly. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the excitement of the NBA from Vivid Arena, downtown Salt Lake City, Utah. The Memphis Grizzlies wrap up this brief two-game road trip as they take on the Utah Jazz. Bain spots up 4-3. It's through for Desmond Bain, who had a 14-point first quarter as the Grizzlies lost Saturday night in Minnesota. As Desmond Bain knocks down that little mid-range jump. So Jackson and Anderson are on. Zaire Williams on a look ahead. The pass was fantastic, but the intent to run as hard as Zaire did to be able to be open, he put on the afterburners to get down the floor. Morant through the lane, yes. Going to the scoop. Morant floats and gets the bounce, his second field goal of the game. Here's Morant for three. Bango. And John Morant, his first three. He's got seven. Morant from the dotted line, yes. John Morant with nine. Conley picked off by Anderson. Morant backs him down, elevates, and a foul on Mike Conley. Conley says, I was vertical. The three guys with whistles disagree. Foul on Conley, his first. Wow, Desmond Bain. Morant, dribble drive, takes flight, and draws the foul. And even the visiting Grizzlies are hearing the oohs and ahs from the home crowd as Morant takes flight. One of two from the line. Good D, Steven Adams. Steven Adams with the steal. Morant 
Bain, rhythm, it's a long two and down it goes. Grizzlies looking for the lead. Morant, full head of steam, peels back. Curls in the lane. Throws it up and in. Wanted a foul call against Whiteside, but he'll take the hoop and the Grizzlies have the lead from 11 down. And the rebound, Brandon Clark. Morant, lobbing. Oh, Bain, baby! Oh, my! Morant, one-on-one with Gobert. He'll try for three. It's through! John Morant, his second triple. 20 for Morant. Morant for three. It's through again for John Morant, his third triple of the game. 23 for Morant. As Jaron goes into Gobert, spins and slams. I want to see that more. I don't want to see the threes against Gobert. Jaron's three is through. Grizzlies within two. Morant going to the reverse, blocked by Whiteside, but a foul. A Bain triple try. Nope. Morant among the Giants. The finger roll falls. Bain gathers himself. The three. Conley. Gobert rolls. Blocked by Jaron. It's yes. off of Gobert and out of bounds. Morant runs into Conley no and scores. No call. Crowd irate. Ten to shoot for Morant. Drives on Conley. Drives on Gobert. Ball popped loose, and then Gobert hugs Morant. And a third foul on Rudy Gobert makes them both. Comes out to Mitchell against the shot clock. Nearly banked it in. Williams on the pickup. Had it knocked away by Conley. Gathered in by Bain. 40 seconds remaining. Desmond drives. Backhanded layup. Blocked by Gobert. Sharon could not get it to fall. It would have counted. He'll have to earn two at the free throw line. Mitchell drives, lost the handle, John the pickup. Morant to the rim and fouled by Conley with 14.8 remaining. Oh, off nearly a foul by Morant, and what do we got? A loose ball foul, no, we're going to call basket interference. The ball no longer had a chance to score when it was touched, therefore it was a legal touch. It is an inadvertent whistle. We will jump the ball, center circle, any two players in the game. Grizzlies win the tap. Morant going right at Conley. Jaron, a three for the lead. It's in with 5.7. Jaron Jackson Jr. triples the Grizzlies into the lead. 119 to 118. Donovan Mitchell, three seconds. Fade away, gun for the lead. Bank, no. Rebound, no. Hammer, nail. Coffin, this baby is over. And the Grizzlies have won in Utah. 119 to 118. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the excitement of the NBA. Grizzlies basketball on Valley Sports is presented by FanDuel Sportsbook. From fabulous FedEx Forum on Beale Street in downtown Memphis, Tennessee, the Grizzlies start a three-game homestand over the Thanksgiving holiday as they take on the Toronto Raptors. Raptors, like the Grizzlies, a top-ten offense. Defense is the relative weakness. Morant going to the reverse. He made it look easy, but that wasn't easy at all. No. Right reverse. Barnes misses the three, and the rebound is Steven Adams. They do like Scotty Barnes leading all NBA rookies in scoring and in rebounding. Desmond, a sidestep, triple try. It's in, and the Grizzlies have the lead back 11 to 10. Four minutes gone by. Morant in the lane trying to create, and somehow does. Surrounded by black jersey Raptors. Adams sets the screen. John! by John Morant. Wow. Van Vliet, another three. And Bain with a rebound. Grizzlies dominant on the glass against one of the better rebounding teams in the NBA. Brevin, you touched on it in the pinnacle effective advice of the game. Grizzlies, a 10-3 advantage. Morant, Bain, catch and shoot three. Bingo! Timeout, Raptors. Lob, but a misfire. That was... Not particularly well thrown. Kyle Anderson send it in! Brandon Clark and a four-point possession for the Grizzlies. Morant weaving and scoring. We know that he gets whatever he wants on a nightly basis. Morant working against Van Vliet. Stymie. Anderson for three. Bingo! Kyle Anderson! 40% from beyond the arc on the season. 
He's had a dunk and a three. Morant with 10 to shoot. Picked up by Barnes. Morant levels off, crosses over, goes into a spin, elevates and hits. How about with the left? Six to shoot. Again, against Barnes. A little in and out. Fade away gun. He got it! Morant against Van Vliet. Kyle wants it. Hangs. Moon ball. Follows it in. Morant attacks and finishes. There's a reason why the Grizzlies lead the league in points per isolation possession. That ends an 8-0 run. Steal by Bain. A look ahead to Morant. Van Vliet is back. Remember, he has five fouls and couldn't take the sixth. Did, did not go down to the wire tonight. A 13-point victory for the Toronto Raptors to get them within one game of 500, and the Grizzlies slip back to 500. 126-113 is the final. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the excitement of the NBA. Grizzlies basketball and Valley Sports is presented by FanDuel Sportsbook. From fabulous FedEx Swarm on Beale Street to downtown Memphis, Tennessee, the Memphis Grizzlies take on the Oklahoma City Thunder, a team they beat by 73 points earlier this month. Favors the miss. Bain, a pull-up three, it's through. And Desmond Bain, who has struggled in first quarters as of late, rings the bell from downtown, and the Grizzlies, the early lead. Favors, and the rebound to Adams. Adams, nine boards last night, averaging almost 11 a game in the month of December. Morant, hesitation move through a crowd, finds Adams, yes, and the foul. Screen by Favors for Gilgis Alexander. Drives underneath the bucket, top side Dort. Shot clock down to two. Dort, a long three, bricks it, and the rebound to Dylan Brooks. Dylan on a push ahead. Here's Morant against Dort. Misfires on the layup. Oh, good hands though by Jaron. Oh, and Jaron with a pass back. Here's Bain for three. It's through. Timeout Thunder. Gilgis Alexander weaves his way. Shot clock down to five. Continues. He fades. That's blocked, and it's picked up by Steven Adams. Giddy behind a screen for three. Josh Giddy. Giddy averaging ten and a half a game, sixth among rookies. Morant taking flight, scooping and scoring his first bucket back. The Grizzlies didn't want to disappoint Ja while he was out. Ja comes back. He doesn't want to disappoint this team because they played so well without him. I think they can just combine what they were doing with what his sound oh, beautiful drop off here to X. And the combination of that is on the offensive end, he makes the game easier for everyone else, but guys still can move without the basketballs. Williams misses that pull up. Killian Tilly checks Look in. Pass. Look at this pass to Tillman. Mr. Morant. He back. Oh, 12 is in the building. <laughs> wow. Bain against the shot clock for three. Bango. 9.5 remaining. Grizzlies just not playing with the edge that we all became accustomed to seeing. Here's Morant for three. Puts it in. Grizzlies had won 10 of 12 to Brevin. They did it by playing with an edge and a swagger. Look it up. If you look up, it has Moran for an easy one. And that gets the crowd involved and pulls the Grizzlies within one. Melton around an Adams screen. Moran drives on Dort, scoops and scores. And perhaps this is the moment of the game where John Moran starts to put things on his shoulders. Moran down the lane, a scoop, a score, and a foul. Gilgis Alexander steps back. His three, nope. Rebound Bain. Grizzlies eight and three in clutch situations. Morant behind the back, weaving. Sets up Bain for three. Bingo! Grizzlies by five. Thunder have been in six games decided by three or fewer. Morant, yes! And the Grizzlies have the lead. They're four and two in those six. The Grizzlies three and one in games decided by three or fewer. Dort makes it. Three point game. Grizzlies 1.5, need a three to tie. Dylan. It falls short, and the Thunder win it 102 to 99. So Dylan Brooks and Jaron Jackson, Stephen Adams, Desmond Bain, John Morant.
The Cadillac starting lineup for Memphis. Otto going to take it all the way to the defense and set up Peyton. Missed the layup. That does not happen for GP2 very often. John ja Moran with that mid range. Now, with all the people out, we do welcome back Kenny Atkinson after a 26 game absence. Ja Moran kind of snake dribbling in. Desmond Bain. And just Split second, and that's the key. That was the key in the first meeting. Is that Bain's three-point shooting is kind of barometer for Memphis. Yeah. Staff catch and shoot three. Bring it out. Kyle Anderson coming back for that rebound. John Morant. So good. They were worried about Bain's three-point shooting, and Morant just went all the way to the iron. And Draymond doesn't normally get fooled like that. Draymond setting up Looney. Shot clock down to five. Porter with the cut. And then Anderson sending him away. Brooks is off to a really good start. Dylan Brooks has seven, and Steve Kerr is going to use a timeout. Look how fast they're double teaming Steph. Draymond made it back. You want to double team a guy 94 feet from the basket? Fine. It's the same concept as their pick and roll. But this time it just happened full court. You got plenty of space for Draymond as John Morant gets in the middle and goes John to the floater. John is special. He's so tough with that floater. He leads up. Denied. John Morant, pump fake on Draymond. The recover on Melton, he's still able to finish. He made it look like he was going to pass it back out. Kind of fooled everybody. Just an update we did hear from Mike Brown, where he was out in the health protocols. He said Draymond Green will never win the Warriors Defensive Player of the Month because he's going to be the Defensive Player of the Year. As John Morant puts that in. Auto quarter, shot clock at five. Steven Adams, give me that rebound. John Morant. Screaming on him, too. Man, he has the ability to slow his body down. He's got crazy speed. He can turn the burners on, but he can just as easily turn them off before you expect him to. Desmond Bain is killing the Warriors. See, he, he's expanded his three-point game. Now he's coming off his screens with the quick release, shooting it off the dribble. Dylan Brooks answers with a fadeaway. Moran hanging. Then he's got to make sure he doesn't pick up a foul. John Moran knows it, and Steve Kerr is going to use the timeout. Tied at 102. How about the closing run for the Dubs? They win it 113-104. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the excitement of the NBA. Grizzlies basketball on Valley Sports is presented by FanDuel Sportsbook. From Golden One Center in downtown Sacramento, the Grizzlies take on the Sacramento Kings for the third and final time this season. We saw Steph Curry at his absolute best in that game. The Grizzlies in this basketball game have to look their best as a team to beat this Kings team that is now starting to get back to full strength. Now, offensively, they're very good. Defense, it's a bit of a struggle. Adams, great look from Moran for the game's first bucket. Nice job but on the pick and roll, the switch, and Adams did the right thing. Took the smaller De'Aaron Fox. Morant, a probing dribble, a floater that's in, John Morant. Morant with 21 at Golden State in a losing effort. A nice battle between he and De'Aaron Fox. A good block there by Jaron. Okay. Conchar, a look ahead. Morant for the slam. Great defense leading to offense as Jaron with the, his first block of the game. Morant all the way to the rim. Nice little handoff and speed dribble move there by Morant. And Rob's done radio play by play in the past. This is not a, a stretch for him. Bain for three. That's not a stretch for Desmond Bain. His second triple in four tries. 13 for Bain and the Grizzlies with a make after the timeout. Metu drives. Adams meets him. And a loose ball tapped around and captured by Jaron Jackson Jr. Morant straight line drive. That's exactly what you need. And the Kings just a little asleep at the switch. And Morant gets all the way to the rim. Adams mismatched against Halliburton. Five to shoot. A Jaron three. Around it out. Rebound filters out to Morant. Conchar, 4-3. John Conchar rings the bell from downtown. Partner, Steven Adams is dominating the game. Morant slaloming, hanging, got the bounce. Well, the difference with Tristan Thompson in the game, a lot of drop pick and roll coverage for him. Buddy Heald is in. Here's Bain for three. It's through Desmond Bain, his fourth triple in six tries. 22 for Bain. Morant with an Adams screen. 
encounters Tristan Thompson and hits the floater. Maybe the free throws by Morant and also the drop coverage by Tristan Thompson. Okay, you won't let him get all the way to the rim. He can still hit the floater. And another steal by them. Fox, a little loose with the handle. Morant. Mm -hmm. Wham! And a double-figure scoring quarter for John ja Morant. His 14th this season, the first time since he had a dozen in the third quarter at Utah. Good, and pass. now a bullet pass to Stephen Adams for the jam. <laughs> Stephen Adams grabbed the rim with the left hand and dunked it with the right hand. That's illegal. It is illegal. But they didn't see it. They didn't call it earlier. Don't call it that. Morant. Wham! And a flex by Stephen Adams. And his ball game goes into the books. The Grizzlies, a 127 to 102 victory over the Sacramento Kings. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the excitement of the NBA from Footprint Center in downtown Phoenix, Arizona. Best team in the NBA, at least record wise, the Phoenix Suns taking on the Memphis Grizzlies. Jaron gets that one to roll in. I like Jaron's aggressiveness yesterday in Sacramento, resulting in a 21 point game. Morant to the rim and in. Got no, Mikel Bridges on his hip and took him right to the rack. Shot clock down to six. Morant weaving his way, elevates over JaVale McGee. No, Big time move by John Morant. Shamit trying to dig it out. Morant's got it. A skip pass to an open Bane. A flyby, three ball, bango. Job with the ball reversal. And now Morant in the middle of the action. A foul line gun that goes. And again, JaVale McGee coming up to contest, but Morant getting enough airspace. Bain deep. Oh my, Desmond Bain with range. Morant, what a scoop and a score for John Morant. There's no defense for that. No, Morant drives, fades, fires, fills it up. Gets a skip on, young fella, gets a skip on. And Morant kind of caught in between, said, uh, the pass isn't there, I'm just going to shoot it. Morant, six to shoot, that's a three. It's through, John Morant, with five early here in the third. Morant, quick move and got to the cup. Adams on a back down against Smith. Morant wants it for three. Bango. John Morant got it cooking here in the third. Morant, shot clock down to six. He wants it. It's a Morant three. It's through. John Morant, a big time triple. Morant, screened by Adams. Ja, a step back gun. It's in again. John ja Morant forcing a Phoenix timeout. A nice move, Morant. Morant, yes. Oh, John Morant with 29. Bain for three. Bango! And Desmond Bain again ties his career high with five threes. 27 for Bain. 103-95. Johnson for three. And Cam Johnson feeling it now. Four of eight. Morant to a rolling Adams. An open Bain for three. It's in again! Desmond Bain, a new career high with six triples. Johnson, another three. Got fouled on a three-point try. Cam Johnson sweeps the three. We approach two minutes remaining in regulation. Morant. Yes! And the foul! <laughs> and that's six on JaVale McGee. Booker's got a wide open three. Morant elevating. Can't convert. Steven Adams, an offensive rebound and a stick back. Grizzlies, 35 second chance points last night. Chris Paul, baseline hit and a foul. One minute remaining in regulation. Grizzlies, a three point lead. Bain drives, elevates, and banks it in. Desmond Bain with 32. Got to get back. Booker and Conchar took a shot and committed the foul, and Booker to the line. Booker one of two. Oh, Kyle Anderson wasn't expecting the pass from Bain. Johnson for three. No. Rebound. Bain trying to go to the floor, has it wrestled away, and then put home by Mikel Bridges to make it a two-point game. Kyle for three. Air ball and a shot clock violation. Booker, a three for the lead. It's in with five seconds remaining. And the Suns have come all the way back from 18 down. Morant, three seconds. He drives, banks, oh! it in with five tenths of a second. Timeout, Phoenix. Yes, sir. Get the man the basketball and give him a driving lane. He will make something happen. How about the degree of difficulty to finish for Morant? Hang in the air, 
to get it to go down. This is a tremendous individual effort by Morant. Catch and shoot for the win. No! Hammer, nail, coffin. This baby is over. And John ja Morant, a 33-point virtuoso performance. The game winner with five-tenths of a second remaining. And the Grizzlies defeat the Phoenix Suns 114 to 113. Lots of rain today in Memphis, a storm warning, but we are ready to go with the FedEx form. By the way, we are in Los Angeles. The team obviously on the road for the second of the back-to-back. -back. Underneath the dish by Morant. Adams did, freed himself up for the layup. And job from three. Now there's where you got a problem. If John Morant is hitting an outside shot, what do you do with that athletic player? Until he misses, but it's tipped up and in by John Morant. We're going to have to play in the quarter. The spin by Morant. The left hand is good. Sparkling John Morant. Russ had an opportunity to have that mid-range off the window. Instead, it's the floater by Bradley. He's going to get tied up. Yeah, he's going to get jump he's off. Getting flo uh, he's going to get tied up, but that's traveling. Pull up for Carmelo, and it settles in. You know, it's been a renaissance for him. Here he gets beaten to the rim, though, and they lay it up and in. They give it right to Ja, who will fire from downtown. And it's 54-46. Now they steal it away, Bane, but the Lakers take it right back. Then it's fumbled back, and underneath is Morant. What a sequence. The garbage goes back to Memphis, and they score. It's a 7-0 run. Ja all the way. He did not play in the last meeting 20 days ago which was a win for Memphis. And he gets an easy deuce there to cut the lead to eight. Moran hits another one from the outside. In the first meeting in Los Angeles, tell you, he had a tremendous ball game. Yeah, 40 points. Now John ja Moran kicks a corner. Wide open is Jackson Jr. for three. John ja Moran is a guy that can get there in a hurry. Plenty of time, leans in, got it! Not the way to end the quarter. Desmond Bain went to the locker room. Keep an eye on that. Morant, the little runner in the lane, and it's a one-point game. Jones, there it is. Lakers down, first lead since 2-0. Now to Josh straight away on its way. He's got another one. He has not missed from behind the arc. Bain down the middle, drive, kick. Will Ja miss? No, he won't. 99-95. John ja Morant down the middle. He gets hit. Down he goes. He'll Follow shoot three throws. Yeah. Long three for LeBron. Got it! LeBron to the long triple. They lose it. Here comes Russ. Lakers down by three. Westbrook all the way, but he can't finish it. He was at the rim alone. Morant trying to spin. Scoops it up around the defense. Gets it back and scores. A must score this time down, and Monk does just that. Up and under to lay it up and in. Morant with 41 points. He goes all the way, can't score. LeBron's got it. LeBron for the tie. Short, rebound comes back. LeBron now into the corner. Bradley to tie Locked. it. He was out of bounds. That'll be Laker ball. James with the Lakers down by three. Monk Playing around back too to long. LeBron. LeBron stumbles, has it, throws it away. And unfortunately, the Lakers will be coming home with yet another loss to the Memphis Grizzlies. A come-from-behind win, and a disgusted Westbrook just bounces the ball to the referee. 104-99. Lakers are now 17-19 and on the year, coming home for the five-game homestand. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the excitement of the NBA on fabulous FedEx Forum on Beale Street in downtown Memphis, Tennessee. The Memphis Grizzlies welcome in the San Antonio Spurs, the first of four meetings between these two divisional rivals, and the first since the play-in game a year ago won by the Grizzlies here at FedEx Forum. Morant against McDermott, gathers himself, sends it, and scores it. The Grizzlies have scored the first nine, and a timeout taken by San Antonio. So look ahead, Stephen Adams, waits on Jakob Pertl. Morant for three. Got it. Stay hot, John. Ja. Morant speed dribble against White to the cup. Banked it in. John ja Morant. Morant leans. Yes. And a foul. Morant behind the back. A spin and a hit. Wow, John ja Morant. Morant on the weave against the double team. Over Thaddeus Young for three. Down the well it goes for John ja Morant. Two for two. 
So eight of nine from the long line in the last two games. Screened by Adams. Morant attacks, blows in, hits. 17 for Morant. Morant, oh. Grizzlies trying to go two for one. Hits in, holy cow! John Morant. Bain, good cover up by Keldon Johnson. Got hit and a three point opportunity for Desmond Bain and the Grizzlies hope that will get him going his first trip to the free throw line tonight. Don't look pass, Bain, yes! Great set up by Moran, his fourth assist. Great cut by Bain and a San Antonio timeout. Moran against McDermott. Beat him off the bounce last time. Screened by Jaron. Ja, hesitation move, a fadeaway gun, he got it! Holy cow! Two minutes remaining. Moran, pick and roll. Floats, hits. It's becoming automatic there, and that's lethal. Tyus against Trey. Yes, off the glass. Good burst of speed there by Tyus. Long rebound, Clark. What an outlet. Morant slaloms and finishes at the rim. Love for Clark. Yeah, he's going. Morant with 28, six assists. Five boards. Jaron for three. Morant's in and an offensive rebound by Morant. A Tyus triple, it's in. Morant curls, hangs, banks it in. And John Morant, three straight 30 point games, tying a franchise record shared with Pau Gasol, big country Brian Reeves, and Mark Gasol. Brandon Clark, love the bounce. And there's the ball game. Grizzlies win it over San Antonio, 118 to 105. A big third quarter for the Grizzlies tonight, outscoring San Antonio 27 to 18. And John Morant, three straight 30-point games. Tonight at Barkley Center, and right back to business. And a young star out of the Western Conference, in fact, the Western Conference Player of the Week, John Morant, and the Grizzlies in town in the first of two meetings. The Nets and the Memphis Grizzlies, we've got all the action for you tonight right here on Yes. And Morant, the zigzag move. Second chance opportunity, the flyby, Morant drains it. Good looking stroke from Ja Morant. Morant directing traffic. Oh, that is a bomb for three. Ja deep. Morant stutter step. To the corner, Culver drains it from long range. And the Grizzlies with another three. Four of eight from downtown. Ja, hurty jerky moves, double team. Jump shot for Clark is true. Oh, Ja Morant. An electric talent. Morant, fend off. The deuce for Ja Morant. Morant! Creativity to Metrius Jamel Morant. Here's Bain. Cuts here, drop. Bain is showing off all the skills here tonight in Brooklyn. Morant to the corner, Culver, ball fake, takes it in and lays it through with .6 on the clock. Here's Morant against Durant, forced to give it up. Jackson hard drive, it's good and one. Durant has got Jaron Jackson on it, scooped up. Bain dishes, Morant, tremendous job, Morant. Morant dumps it off. Adams with an easy bucket. Nets had no resistance underneath for the big New Zealander. Jackson heaves it up. Rebound. Knocked over to Morant. He gets the loose change for two. And it's 38-18 on the glass in favor of the Grizzlies. Cha rules. Morant in transition. Oh, Cha Morant with a man's jam. This was electrifying. Look at Ja. The crank, the throwdown, filthy. Absolutely filthy. We got to look at this again. It was so pretty. The height, the explosiveness, and he accelerated. How fast he could push it up the floor and then sky high. Oh! Lob it up. A slam. Brandon Clark goes upstairs for the finish. It's an 8 nothing Grizzlies run.
John ja Morant accelerates for the bucket. Morant, razzle dazzle behind the back for the floater. Nets have not had enough offense aside from Durant. Harden with 17. Whirling Dervish. Ja Morant has taken over. Morant turns the corner, drives, kicks. Bain. Yes, sir. Desmond Bain is dominating. Morant. Hard drive. Foul called. Morant. The handles. And put it on the board for Ja Morant. Ja Morant. Strong showing against Brooklyn. Leading the Grizzlies to a 118-104 win. The Nets have now dropped three in a row. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Grizzlies Basketball, presented by FanDuel Sportsbook. Grizzlies in Cleveland tonight to take on the Cleveland Cavaliers at Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse. Garland again, the same spot. Oh, that one it looked defense. like it got knocked yes. out of his hand. That's great defense by Ja to recover. Ooh, ja crossed up Allen and gets it to go on the floater. He's not going to stop going to the basket. Yep. Length is a problem, but Ja can get crafty. Yeah, Rondo had been in health and safety protocols. He is in, he's out tonight conditioning for his return as Ja knocks another one in off the glass. Allen at the free throw line. Good. He can take, he can make that shot though. He's not uncomfortable shooting it from that kind of range right there. Ja again drives to the basket, hangs and gets it to go off the glass. And wow, he was in the air for a while. Mobley. Mobley, oh, wow. patience. Wow. That's that's just phenomenal right there. I mean, just patience in the paint right there. Ability to get where he wanted to go, the footwork. And there's our unicorn answering right back too. So again, we're seeing the future of the power forward position because it's right now it's the present <laughs> between these two guys. John, ja, he'll pull up for three, fakes the shot. He's now in trouble. Get it off to Jaron, just one on the shot it. clock. He's got to put it up wow. and he knocks it down. Wow. What a shot. What a shot by Jaron Jackson Jr. bailing it out right there. John to the basket, left hand off the glass and in. There he is again with the right hand hard drive, finish back on the left side. Garland for Cleveland, gets a paint touch. Great John block. with the block. Great block. Great block. Second block right there for John Morant. That bounce pass too far and John ja takes over. John ja back the other way. Underhand pass to Bain for three. Yes, Desmond Bain. <laughs> D money strikes again. D money strikes again in transition. What a turnover. Turning a turnover into offensive scoring right there. Three point shot. Grizzlies will go for a final shot. Ja will go when it's seven, six. Here he goes. Ja into the paint. Ja to the basket. Off the glass and in with the left hand. The Grizzlies lead for the first time in this game. Garland to Stevens. Off his hands. Tilly with the steal. Back on the Grizzlies. Bain ahead for Morant. He'll throw it down. Ja Morant. Into the paint. Oh, oh no yes. look lob to Brandon Clark, who throws it down. Garland with the scoop and oh, doesn't get the roll. Adams ahead for Ja. Grizz have numbers. Aldama with a slam on the break. And Ja with a great lead pass, and the Grizzlies are up four. 98-95. Ja Morant to the right paint, there. to the bucket. Right yes. there. Same spot, just inside that dotted line. That's the area where he can execute. That's where Tyus Jones is executing. Tyus for Bain. Does hands it off to Ja. Ja behind his back. Ja to the basket. Ja off the glass and in as he hangs in the air again. Grizzlies up two. And timeout Cleveland. Inbound to Goodwin. To Garland. Ja almost steals. He does. Defense. Ja to the basket. Ja lays it in. And the Grizzlies are up four. Ja Morant with the defensive play of the game. What a great overplay. Uses athleticism. Got the arm in there and then finished it off because he's strong. Well, John knew what we were talking about. The ball was going to be in Garland's hands. You saw Goodwin doing everything he can to get Garland the ball. Ja read it perfectly. Good job keeping Garland away and lays it in. Market into inbound, gets it to Love, fakes the three, blocked block. by Clark. That's Culver game. gets it. That's the winner, Grizzlies. Win it by four over the Cleveland Cavaliers. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Grizzlies Basketball, presented by FanDuel Sportsbook. Tonight, the Grizzlies host the Detroit Pistons as they return to FedEx Forum for one game before hitting the road again. And they got the 7-29 Pistons coming into town on a wintry night in Memphis. John to trigger. Gets it to Dylan Brooks. Brooks. Gets it to go. First basket of the game for DB. Welcome back. Ja drives, puts up the floater and in. 
And of course, no one can get to the lane quite like Ja Morant. We need a bucket. Season. Man comes through. <laughs> ja surveying the scene. Now wants to drive. Pulls up. Another floater. That one's short. Gets his own rebound. Puts it up again. And in. Follow your own shot. And Ja Morant was in the right place at the right time. He worked on that floater game all throughout his pregame routine tonight. Three-pointer. Way too long for Cunningham. Right into the hands of Ja Morant. Ja to the elbow. Puts it in. Puts it in. Ja's got six. Diallo for three. That one's short. Ja all the way to Zaire Williams down the floor. Zaire pulls up. Jumper. Yes. <laughs> the rookie's on fire here in the first quarter. He's in double digits. He's got 11. Former Grizzly Josh Jackson goes to the basket. He's short on that one. Rebound Melton. Head for Ja. Ja to the basket. Lays it in with the left. 17 for the Grizzlies. You talk about playing with force. This yep. is force. This is the force that we call for them to play for, and they've answered the call. Ja drives into the paint. Ja pulls up. Shot rolls. Yes. Ja gets it to go. He's got 12. Ja into Jaron. Great position for Jaron. Turn All scores. Day. All day. All day. Bay drives back to Cunningham. He'll put up the three. No good. Another air ball. Tyus with the rebound. All the way down the floor to Steven Adams. To Ja. Ja hangs. The roll and scores. John wants a foul as well. <laughs> He's got 14. Cunningham now out to Hayes. His long three. Ugh. He had the same look on his face you did right there. <laughs> Here comes John. John into the paint. John pass out to Dylan Brooks for three. Yes, sir. Dylan Brooks. There it With is. the three. There he is. Cunningham for three. Misses. Stephen Adams ahead for John. John. Ja into the paint. Ja pulls up. Little floater. Yes! Ja Morant. He's got 16. Sadiq Bay, Long three. No good as he continues to struggle here tonight. Ja now all the way to the basket. Gets it to roll in. Up the glass and in for Ja. He's got 18. And that's what you have to do if you're the Memphis Grizzlies, understanding that Detroit does not have a shot blocker, a traditional big down there to stop you from it once you get into the paint. John working on saving Lee. Double pump. Can't get the roll, but gets the follow. John's up to 20. John Moran. John to the basket, off the glass. With the left. Easy for John Moran. He's got 22. With the left. John into Brandon in the paint. Brandon, Great right spin. hand hook goes. Grizzlies up 30. Saban Lee for Detroit to the basket. Ja got it from behind, and then Ja saving it. Knocks it off Lee, but apparently Ja was out of bounds when he did it. It'll be Detroit ball. Grizzlies up 30. What a performance. If Detroit, they won't score. They'll inbound it. Time will run out, and that's a winner. Grizzlies win it by 30. Largest win ever over the Detroit Pistons. Largest was 28 back on January 5th of 2014. Almost eight years to the day. All right, let's go. Downtown Los Angeles, basketball capital of the world, Crypto.com Arena. That's where we are tonight evening for the fourth and final time this year. The Lakers meet the Memphis Grizzlies. Avery Bradley blocked by Jaron Jackson, Jr., one of the best in the league. He's third in blocks in the association. And John Morant does what he does best, gets into the lane. Now Malik gets it, tried to throw it back to LeBron, and that's one thing the Lakers haven't been doing. I think we all know that. Turning it over. Good play by Malik coming back to force it out for Jackson Jr. for three. Jaron Jackson just steps into that one just to catch and shoot and gives the Grizzlies that three-point lead. Avery Bradley with the deflection against Bay. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh! What an incredible block! Let's go back to the unreal play by John Moran. I mean, unreal is right. This guy, just look where he is. When he catches it at the top of the square, the box on the backboard, look at his hands up there. He almost hit his head on the backboard. Jaw hangs in the air and scores. See how long he has to make up his mind which shot he wants to take? He's up in the air so high. It's amazing. Amazing hang time. Conchar, he's looking for his third three. Bring it up. Jaw looked to get to the rim, but Carmelo Anthony was in the way. A little leaner that time by Anderson for two. Quick three. And uh, an air ball for Avery. Desmond Bain. Oh, and a throwdown. Look out, John Moran. Look where his head is. Above the rim. I mean, that's incredible. He literally moved his head so that he didn't strike it against the rim. Moran kicks it. Williams corner. Zaire, nothing but net. 
They are just feasting on the Lakers right now. And they're having a lot of fun doing it, too. Actually, the Lakers have the best offensive rating in the league in the last four games. Not tonight. Until then, and we're not even going to talk about defense. John Morant, timeout. That will be that. But a good effort by the guys on the floor to end the game. But not a yeah. great game for the Lakers right. in well, perspective overall. Absolutely. But uh, you got to like the effort that that unit uh, used uh, in the final three, four minutes. Yeah. They came out and they played really, really hard. Very difficult road trip for the Dubs begins in Memphis. Third meeting of the year against the Grizz. The Warriors and Grizzlies have split the two. John Morant down the lane and he will get to the line. Uh, he's been really good getting to the free throw line, especially lately even more. He and Jaron Jackson are the building blocks of a very good Memphis team. Morant getting down the lane. I mean, Wiggins is a great defender, and it just shows the wiggle, the strength, and the finish of John ja Morant. And the corner three for Zaire Williams beats the buzzer. John ja Morant, you mentioned 38%. He's improved at every level. ATA did well to save that, but that's the Warriors' fourth turnover. Out to John Morant. Possessions are going to be at a premium, hitting threes. That's going to be critical. Overplay John Morant, he cuts back door. Andrew Wiggins knows that too because he takes advantage of that on the other end a lot when defenders aren't in between him and the basket. But you better slow down John Morant. John Morant. Yeah, he's just taking the game over right now. John Morant getting downhill again. My goodness. He is incredible in this first quarter. Bain for three. At the end of one, you thought, okay, the Warriors are all right. But it's 17-7, and they're getting roasted here in the second quarter. The turnovers and inability to score. And John Morant right to the rim. Here comes Steph. Taking a lot of contact, and then Melton taking the ball away. Come around, Bob. Zaire Williams hammers it down. Well, that's why they're excited about Williams. And another steal. And here comes John Morant. The lob to Zaire Williams. Man. Perfectly hammered down by Clark. Memphis landed a haymaker. Warriors got back up. And then the Grizz put it back on him as he had John Morant draw the foul, flip it up and in. Iguodala not pleased. He's just a beast. So the shot clock off, free throws made. Steph sat with two and a half left. And look at the Warriors going to finish the quarter with a lead. But Morant all the way to the iron. Warrior bench. Strength of the team all year. That's a nice pass from John Morant. Brandon Clark. That's good patience there. Jackson to beat the shot clock buzzer. Off iron there, batted out, but right back to Memphis. Tyus Jones, good luck. Critical three and a half. Tyus Jones has 17 on six of eight shooting. And Curry having it blocked out of bounds. Clay Thompson thought he was waiting for a whistle, never came. Gary Payton kept playing and finished. Here comes Thompson, sandwiched, and he's going to shoot free throws. Jaron Jackson with a big step and the finish. Clay foul line jumper. And John Morant wasn't bailed out that time. He likes to jump into the defenders. And, and that's not a foul. Yes. GP2, Clay found him. John Morant. That float game. Man. Curry three. And the big rebound battle. Knocked away from Jackson to right to Tyus Jones. One more bucket for Memphis. Trying to put the Warriors away. And John Morant does. Flips it in, draws the foul. Well, the Warriors are three and four without Draymond Green. Uh, not that anyone doubts how critical he is to the whole operation. Memphis has won 10 in a row. They are 
20 and 4 in their last 24 games. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the excitement of the NBA. Grizzlies basketball on Valley Sports is presented by FanDuel Sportsbook. From fabulous FedEx Four Mile Beale Street in downtown Memphis, Tennessee, the red hot Memphis Grizzlies, who have won 10 in a row, take on the Minnesota Timberwolves, who have won four of their last five. Beverly forcing the turnover, and then Edwards can't pay it off with a three, but you see the activity of Jared Vanderbilt, who couldn't get a sniff in Denver, but has been a key player here in Minnesota. Kyle, yes, with the dunk. Great setup by Morant. Well, because Morant can hang in the air so long, they took away the baseline pass. He's able to adjust to find Kyle Anderson. Good pass here to Kyle Anderson. Great cut. They're allowing guys to catch in their comfort zone. I mean that offensively, they're that much better at being able to finish. Tillman finishes that off the setup by Morant. Fourth assist for Jock. No early offensive opportunity for the Grizzlies. So Morant going to work. Leaves hits. Morant with 29 and eight assists and a couple of blocks against Golden State. Pulls the Grizzlies with its one on his first field goal of the game. Oh, there's fine. Tillman. Powers that one down and Morant his fifth assist. And I think there's a little bit of the fact that a young kid can see somebody size like Steph Curry or John Morant and see themselves. Jaron for three. Bango. Grizzlies immediately within four. Towns able to knock down that little step back jumper. Bain, fly by, splash. Vanderbilt, FBK, fly by King. John Morant, the best third quarter scorer in the NBA. Lost Williams. He missed him early on that slice to the basket. Did not miss him that time. Morant hangs, follows his own. Five gone by here in the third quarter. Grizzlies trail by five. Morant drives, hangs. Yes, and the foul. Tillman sets the screen. Morant turns it down. Love from Brandon Clark. Tell you, the, the playmaking ability from John Morant tonight, elite. Morant hangs and hits again. I said Morant, the leading third quarter scorer in the league. He averages almost nine points per third quarter. Got McDaniels with all his length at 6'9", guarding Morant. Screen, floater, in. You see what I'm saying? On a running screen roll, Carlton Towns is not running with the offensive player. Grizzlies, 30 wins, 116-108 over the Minnesota Timberwolves. Morant, Bain in the backboard. Williams, the rookie, Clark and Jaron Jackson Jr. on the front line for the Memphis Grizzlies. Doncic with six on the shot clock, guarded by nice. Bain. Tough pass, and the second consecutive turnover for the Mavericks. The lob, the slam. Zaire Williams has been a great finisher for the Grizzlies over the past several games. Boy, John Morant plays at such a nice pace, he'll be when he gets into the paint. Morant into the paint, got nice. to a spot and finished it, nothing but net. Well, that time Adams was waiting on the lob, Hubie, and he yep. broke it up. Here comes Moran in transition. Fast break, Kyle Anderson with the slam. That is the Memphis formula. Now, wait a second. <laughs> he just blew by us about half court. It was like a blur, okay? Right. Now, I'm not exaggerating here because I don't get that excited. Room service for Jobs. Boy, you can feel the breeze as he yeah. blows by our broadcast table. Tim Hardaway Jr. His number's off a little bit, still trying to find his shooting rhythm. Williams pulls it out. He's got the shorter Brunson on him, so he fires. Back out to Conchar inside nice. Williams. Great ball movement. One more to Moran in rhythm for three. Got it. Well, I'm happy for him. Because he said coming into the game, he was one for 17 in his last threes. I'm not, that, maybe that will get him going. Adams inside off the good feed from John Moran. Conchar had 15 points, 17 rebounds, and Hubie, after the game, the team mobbed him as he was doing his post-game interview. They took a picture with him, a team picture, an impromptu moment, but it really underscored well, how much great chemistry this team has. Yeah, well, the main thing is, is they love the guy, they love his spirit, and also the fact that he hasn't been a big scorer, but they needed him last night, yeah. and when you say 17 boards, you know he was working. John Morant, little Euro step, and the float game is pure. John Morant with 12 points so far here in the 
first half. Brunson sets the screen for Luca. Whips across court. Brunson spins Pretty. over Clark. Pretty. Top shot. Now that's by Brunson. Jalen Brunson. That's at, that's at his best. He's averaging 16 points since he's gotten the minutes, and you can see he takes the pressure off of Doncic because he's so active. Because when they hit him, he's in the foul line area. Boy, they really play off each other well. And I'll tell you what, John Morant takes on his do-it-yourself kit when he wants to and scores it. Somebody's got to get to work here. Brunson with the ball. Inside. Followed. Uh, It'll count right before the shot clock expired. How about this second chance opportunity here? Adams inside. Oh, pretty. 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 Good eye contact that time. Adams going to the rim. Morant put the ball right there. When they get the mismatch, will you please, when you see that you have a smaller player, but will you please get to the front of the rim and the pass will be there? You hope. Yes. You hope. Okay. <laughs> well, he's got to face the coach on oh, the other side. Oh. Adams. Oh, thank you. With a classy well, finish of course, off. The role guy's been open <laughs> the entire quarter. They heard they've been you. missing him and they've been shooting the three and they're one for seven. I hope you're enjoying Brunson. Because he's having a heck yeah. of a game here. Yeah. Boy, John Morant with nice that move, yeah. same foot, same hand finish that he's become so accomplished at. Morant sizing up the defense. Got to his spot and got a nice roll. Well, just think now. That's only the first time he's been in there in the second half. Yeah. Luka Doncic and the Mavericks roll into the home of the Blues and leave the Memphis Grizzlies feeling blue. It's a Monday matinee on MLK Day. Just a few miles from the heartbeat of Memphis, the National Civil Rights Museum and the Lorraine Motel. We welcome you from FedEx Forum as we get set for the NBA on TNT. It is presented by State Farm and this afternoon an excellent matchup, the Chicago Bulls and the Memphis Grizzlies, two teams in the top five in the NBA record-wise. Morant goes inside, scores it in there. Brandon Clark, another Memphis steal. Look at you. Oh, John Morant! Strong! He cupped it and then got it to his right hand for the finish. I mean, there's no room here, none. This guy is unbelievable on the attack. Already 10 points in the paint now for the Grizzlies, who lead the league in that category with over 55 of them. And Morad is top five in the NBA in points in the paint. He's second in the NBA in drives per game. Iota Sumu got the mismatch with Adams, who'll pull up and hit it. Took a page out of DeMar DeRozan's book. And Adams running the floor, and DeSumo, oh, it goes! Adams and one! Well, Memphis does this all the time. They will run out on jump shots after they contest. They run out. They trust the other four guys to rebound, and they're able to release and get some easy ones, which is one of the reasons they lead the league in fast break points. Jackson hounded, almost forced to turn over. Extra pass, John Moran. Three-pointer is good for Moran. Moran and down now, the Grizzlies. Clark open, and as the clock expires. Tyus Jones has just had an outstanding year as Morant knocks down a jump shot. Jones, the backup point guard, he was very effective in that second quarter. Morant leaves it for Jackson and he scores and is fouled. Uh, DeRozan falls down, he slipped, rolled his ankle. Morant on the run out, dunks it home and all eyes on DeRozan to pop the whistle here to try to get this floor cleaned up. The Subo. Handling the ball here, lost the handle, turnover. Moran up ahead, Thomas contests, Moran cuts it again, scores it with the right hand. Almost the same move we saw in the first quarter. Patrick Williams uh, got great toughness, as all Florida State guys yes. seem to, can really defend and can shoot the ball as Moran just makes an unbelievable move going to the basket. They're 19 and 13 when John Morant plays and 11 and 2 when he does it. I mean, that's incredible, especially for a guy that's having this kind of year. 
Bradley fouls Morant. They get tied up. And now, getting into it on the floor. Stephen Adams literally yes. lifting him up. up. Tony Bradley, who is not a small guy, he literally just lifted him up and carried him away from John Morant. Tony Bradley is 6'7", 220. And Adams just hoist him. I think John Morant, he got fouled, but he seemed to be more the instigator in the yep. battle. Um, but Stephen Adams always going to protect his teammates, and he did so here. Bradley wouldn't let go, even after Morant pushed the ball in his face, and Stephen Adams just said, all right, here, let me take you over here with me. I think... Morant took exception to where Bradley's knee oh, sure. was he... directed right there. and It'll be interesting how they rule this. Fans just now getting a look at the replays as well. It all depends on where you see it. Obviously, the three officials will come together and there will be... I don't think call. there was intent on Tony Bradley's part. No. Tony Bradley does not move very well laterally and John ja Morant is pretty darn quick. He simply couldn't keep up. I understand Morant didn't like it. He got need and then what went on afterwards was sort of both of them tussling a little bit but then Morant put the ball in his face here as they were holding on. Yeah, Bradley wasn't going to let Morant go until Adams let him go. Everybody's grabbing on to somebody. So unnecessary contact for Bradley and then uh, technical fouls. Well, we knew John Morant is going to go to his first All-Star game. He has just gotten better and better from Rookie of the Year, advanced his game in year two, and now he's one of the real stars in the NBA in year three. Oh, there's no question. I mean, you can make a face. Wow, what timing for him to make that move right as you're talking about him. Is that T? Wow, that was special. This is the move that caps off John Morant's day right here. Ooh. Up, spin, and get it in the basket. Showstopper, John Morant. Tough stretch for the Bulls. They carry on. It's their fifth game in the last seven days. They go to Cleveland and Milwaukee next. Memphis wins. After an 11-game win streak that was snapped, they're back in the win column. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the excitement of the NBA. Grizzlies basketball on Valley Sports is presented by FanDuel Sportsbook from Pfizer Forum in the freezer section of downtown Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Grizzlies start a four-game road trip tonight. They take on the Milwaukee Bucks. Early look for Giannis, stepped through by George Hill, and the Bucks have the lead 2 to nothing. Well, you know, you get the veteran leadership. Nice backdoor, good pass here to Zaire. And one foul on Grayson Allen. John Moran, a clean look at a three. It's through, and the Grizzlies a 6-2 advantage. Out of the Kumpo. Oh, yes. oh, blocked by Jaron. Freak, meet the block. Panther and a lob for Zaire Williams on the other end. A two Memphis. Out of the Kumpo. Ball fake, settles himself for three, puts it in. Out of the Kumpo, that's his first make from the floor. He's got five. And the Bucks a four-point lead. You, you force him to take that shot the entire night, partner. Morant for three. Has an answer. John ja Morant. I told you George Hill is playing John ja Morant at the free throw line, respecting his speed, forcing him to take threes. Nice to knock down two early. Holiday and Melton with a takeaway. USC, give me that from UCLA. Morant for three. Bingo! 11 in the quarter for John ja Morant. Well, he's, he is taking the place of Desmond Bain here with the threes. Morant with a drop off for Brandon Clark. And Morant is down. Pick and roll. Brandon Clark banks it in. Brandon Clark with eight. And Brandon has been a real bright spot, Brevin. He's been getting regular minutes. And Holiday dunks at the other end. Morant in traffic. Clark banks. Brandon Clark in double figures with 10. For the 16th time this season, BC 
double figures and now in 10 of his last 11 appearances. Four on the shot clock, Morant deep three, puts it in. Four triples for Morant in the half, 18 points for the game, keeping the Grizzlies in it. Morant leans and got the hoop, wanted a foul as well. Grizzlies had an eight point lead. They had a 10-0 run after the Bucks scored the first two of the game, then the Bucks responded with a 9-0 run. They've been in control of the scoreboard ever since. Morant, another leaner, is in. So he's gonna have to be the catalyst offensively, and he is leading the charge tonight. Middleton spots up for three. Rebound Morant. Great opportunity here with Giannis down with the fourth foul, partner. Nine assists for Morant. He drives, he scoops, he scores! Bucks go back to that zone that they played in the first half that forced the Grizzlies to be more perimeter oriented, not an attacking basketball team. Jaron in the paint, floater, got it to go. Jaron now with 11, nine in the period, and he has really answered the bell here in the third quarter. Melton, the angle three, puts it in. The fifth Grizzlies triple of the night and the first one by someone other than John Morant. Holiday cuts through, sets up Matthews for three. Rebound Jackson. Job ja, got by DiVincenzo and took it to the cup. Great outlet pass. Again, how about Ja? The one hand with the left over the top of DiVincenzo, still able to finish with the left. Continue to attack. Can you close the quarter strong? Yes, by Morant. 26 and 11 for Morant. Meanwhile, Morant, his 10th game with 25 or more points and 10 assists, and add two more to the total, 28 and 11 for Morant. Jaron for three, puts it in. Jaron's first three-point make of the night, 24 for Jackson. Morant sets up Jaron for three, puts it in. Jaron Jackson Jr., 29 and a new season high. Over the top, Clark puts it in and a foul. Oh, what a delivery by Morant and Clark, an acrobatic finish to give him a dozen. His first points of the second half and Morant with 13 assists. Middleton to the glass, overlays, rebound Morant. Morant over George Hill, yes! You're exactly right, we're talking about in clutch situations, this Bucks team has not been good this season. The Grizzlies right now putting the pressure on them tonight. The Bucks stars were stars tonight. The Grizzlies stars were stars tonight. 33 for Morant. Bucks win it tonight, 126. 114 Grizzlies trailed by as many as 18. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the excitement of the NBA. The Grizzlies continue this four game road trip as tonight they take on the Denver Nuggets. Oh, Morant cool. scoop and score. How about that with the left? Barton a pull up three in transition. Back to back triples by Will the Thrill Barton, and it's a 6 5 Denver lead. Morant leaner in, and the Grizzlies reclaim the lead. Six to shoot. Morant, a step back three from the corner, and he mm. puts it in. And John Morant has come out, guns blazing. Seven of the Grizzlies, ten. Monte Morris with a pull up. That's not there. Jokic keeping it alive, and an offensive rebound for Jokic. Barton, a flyby, dishes, give and go. Barton. Monte Morris all over John Conchar. Nuggets a two-point lead. Ja through the lane to scoop and score to tie the game. With the Nuggets sizing down, that forces them to have to defend Morant now with a guard. See if he's able to take advantage of it. Sets up Williams for three. Bango! Zaire Williams. Monte Morris hangs and hits. And the assist to Jokic, that's his third already. I think Steven Adams has played very good defense one-on-one -on -one as Forrest knocks down that free throw line jumper against Jokic tonight. Joker looking for his first bucket and right on cue. Joker's nice now. That little mid range jumper. Highland wrap around, deflected, ball to the floor, picked up by Clark. Melton, lines for Morant! A sensational play! How about this? Brent Forbes knew it was coming, partner, but there was nothing he can do. Look, he knows it's coming. It doesn't matter. There's no way he's going to get up high enough. Morant again looking at the rim with the finish. Jokic. Zaire, a catch and shoot three. It's in for Zaire Williams. Morant against Composo. Wants a screen. Yes, and a foul. 
Jokic flopped. No air in the whistle. And an and one opportunity. The Grizzlies have their largest lead of the game. Floater, Adams, long, rebound Jokic. And look at Jokic advance it. Monte Morris for three. Five assists already for Jokic. Culver's in, puts in another three. Nice move. Morant. Mm. Got the finish as well. 17 now for Morant. Morant, one man fast break, hangs it, hits. Oh my, what a tough shot. A pull up and floating to the baseline. Across his body, rings the bell. The Grizzlies match their largest lead, 61-49. 19 by Morant here in the first half. And the pass intercepted. Barton back the other way. Tipped in. Jokic. Morant, a deep three, puts it in. Ja Morant. Barton covered up by Conchar. Works baseline into a double team. Shot clock at seven. Jokic, desperation three. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Jokic in double figures with ten. Five-point game. Jokic hooks and hits. And that, that others meant helping in every aspect of the game, not just in scoring. They were going to have to help in scoring, but doing that little bit of everything as Morant continues his assault on the paint. Wow. Morant weaving wow. through, scooping wow. in, scoring. Wow. wow. He went all the way through the entire Nuggets roster. <laughs> wow. How about the dribbling exhibition that leads to a fantastic finish? Jokic ah. dumped down. Jeff Green with the slam. Jokic, his sixth assist of the game. Jokic got the kind bounce. It's a one point game. Jokic. Well, the other problem is right now, you also have a highly engaged Jokic. Jokic. Jaron trying to avoid a fourth foul. And Jeff Green. Zaire Williams wanted a lob. Instead, Morant, the handy dribble, and then the make. 29 for Morant. Bryn Forbes back in the game. Forbes making his first appearance as a Denver Nugget, and Jokic rolls in another one. 17 for Jokic, seven in the quarter. Jokic floats, hits. And Jokic highly efficient tonight, Brevin. Nine of 12 from the floor. Jokic drives into a crowd and finds Gordon. Forbes against Culver, floats, airballs it. Grizzlies back the other way. Morant lobs for Melton, yes. who banks it in. Clark clears the area out for Morant against Najee. Ja drives, attacks, banks, and the Grizzlies have the lead, 93-91. 31 for Morant, his 12th 30-point game, his sixth in the last 13 outings. Morant, a leader, got another one. 33 for Morant. And three double-figure scoring quarters. Highland knocked away from behind by Morant. End-to-end -end action. Culver, Morant, yes! Wow! What a response by the Grizzlies here late in the third. Good hands, Tillman. Tillman with a steal. Zaire Williams against Composito takes and dunks. Jaron trying to give it back. Got deflected, taken away. Three on one, Jokic uncontested. And a good choice by Jared Culvert not to potentially give up a foul and an add one to Jokic. And then Barton hits on the other end, so it's a 10 point game. That was a great job by Melton to deny, and then he comes up with the knockaway steal there. 11th steal of the game, and then Jeff Green with a foul, but it's against Morant to put him on the line. Jokic doubled, Jeff Green. And you talk about the vision and the ability of Jokic to find the open man. That's the 11th assist for Jokic, who averages seven and a half. Gordon, another three, another make. And all of a sudden, it's a four-point game with 102 remaining. Morant against Gordon. Jaron for three. Bingo! Ice water in the veins of Jaron Jackson Jr. A seven point Grizzlies lead. Timeout Denver. Jokic, Grizzlies will let him go. Hammer, nail, coffin, this baby is over. And the Grizzlies win in Denver.
for the first time since February the 26th, 2017, ending a six-game losing streak in Denver. And welcome to the American Airlines Center, game five of the five-game homestand for the Mavericks, and it may be the most challenging of all as they take on the Memphis Grizzlies, the hottest team in the NBA over the last 15 games, going 13-2, and led by their superstar guard, John Morant. And, of course, the Mavericks have been on fire of late themselves, led by Luka Doncic, 10-2 in their last 12 games. Down to five to shoot, and going backdoor, Doncic to the rim, and nobody picked him up for an easy layup. Dean Smith would love that backdoor cut. <laughs> my, oh, my. And John Moran is capable of doing the highlight film stuff, but he just did it there. Outstanding finish for Doncic through a lot of contact a lot of contact that very easily could have been a whistle Luca against Williams baseline drive met by the double team oh what a find to Finney Smith and he got it to go what a pass by Doncic I love it Morant on the quick drive met by Porzingis and banks it home with a foul and that's some acrobatic stuff from John Morant I love this kid don't don't get me wrong but they're talking about this kid being an MVP candidate and I think moving forward he will be but Gotta see it a little bit more. Luca and Powell playing the two-man game. And he'll step back through the dirt and he gets the roll. Morant cuts to his left. Back by Powell. Kenny Smith trying to spin it, missed it. The rebound is tipped in. See how quick he got back up after the miss? Unbelievable. Yeah, he's amazing. No look over the head to Hardaway for three. Way off of the rebound to Morant. He's got green on skates, and he had nowhere to go, and it got tipped right back. Two in right place, right time for John Moran. He seems to always be in the right place at the right time. Doncic, the wraparound. Kleba in deep will score it with a foul and a chance at a three-point play as Killian Tilly will be called for the foul. And what a dime that time by Luca on the inside. Luca off the weave, take and roll with Porzingis. Up top, left hand, big drive and finishes it. And Luca helps jacks it up as they come back down the floor. Luca off balance, banks it in, shot it off the wrong foot. I thought he got pushed as well. And saying something to Scott Wardowski about it. Luca didn't put enough on that pass intended for Powell. Adams batted it out to Finney Smith, and Luca will shoot the runner that time and gets the roll. It looks like an easy shot. That's a very difficult shot moving towards the basket. That's no good. Bullock got a hand on it, couldn't get it. Instead, it's the Adams baseball pass. Contract. Oh, my, John Morant. Well, that's a couple that are going to make the highlight tapes tonight. Straight line drive, Finney Smith. Yes. Doncic gets it away in time and hits the three. <laughs> Take that, Lucas Sands. Morant to his left, solid screen, and the runner is good as he dances it over the front of the rim. Rebound missed by Melton, rebound by Wayne, blocked by Porzingis. Boy, Porzingis has had an unbelievable yes, first half on the defensive end. Finney Smith runs the floor, Memphis didn't get back, and Taylor Jenkins, disgusted, takes a timeout. Morant on the drive, double clutch, laying in. I'll tell you, when he does score, it is an absolute sight to see. Luca, put his head down. Got it tight, banks it up and in. Nothing you can do. Oh, Durant, oh, it looked like he took an extra step there, but able to get that one to go with the left hand. Doncic, played by Adams on the switch. See if he tries to take him one-on-one -on -one at the rim. Gives it up to Porzingis instead. Trying to turn the corner, hook it back to Luka. Tees up the three-pointer, and there you go. That's great basketball. There's Adam, and nice play by Dodgers to swat it out of his hands, and then Dwight Powell knocked it off of Adam's hands out of bounds. Luca back it home on the run. Here comes Luca against Adams, spinning off one of the fadeaways, good for 12. Here's Dodgers up top. Morant left to one and foul and scores. Powell commits the foul. And I'll tell you what, John Morant's having a really good game shooting the ball. Yeah. And he has earned every one of those You shots. better believe it. That was a challenge shot as well. Hardaway. Yeah, good pass. Good pass. Powell well covered there. Morant the steal and going coast to coast. Lay it off to Tillman. Lays it up and in. Jason Kidd will stop play there. Five to shoot. Here comes the double from Tilly. Picks up the dribble with three and two. Hardaway in the right corner. Knocks it down. Big hit. 
Boy, Hardaway in a perfect shooting position, and Doncic hit him right in stride. Here's a deep score it with a foul. Nice bump fake, and got Porzingis up in the air. Alley oop Morant to Williams, and he'll drop it through. Morant behind Adams. Floater in the lane, rolls home. Here is Doncic on the drive, high off the glass, and he got the roll, hit the rim, danced it on there about three times and had it drop through. And Doncic plays the passing lane, got the steal, and he's got the snowbird. And a timeout by Memphis. They try to trap Morant. Jackson hits the three. Finally got one to go. Doncic against Adams, over Adams, down it goes. Man. Yeah, he's feeling it right now. He's got 11 of Dallas's 13 points here in the fourth quarter. It's 90 to 71. Morant got through the double team, reversing and scoring. And boy, he had some English on that one. He's a sensational talent, man. Just that simple. But I tell you, thank God he's young because what he has to do as far as keeping this team in the game tonight, he'll be worn out. Another assist for Doncic. They get 36-9-9 and nine for Luka. Tilly the steal. Morant at full flight. Got by Kleba. Lays it up and in. Luka on the drive. The pass blocked by Adams. Came to Powell. Couldn't finish it. Poked out of there. And Morant coming downhill between his legs. Nice layoff to Melton. He'll lay it up and in. There are very few 6-1 guards who can play down in tight the way that Brunson can. And here's Morant with two offensive rebounds and bats it home with the left hand. Like he's on a trampoline, just bouncing up and down. Melton can't finish. Oh, and Morant did. I mean, how many highlight finishes has he had around the rim tonight? All of them have been <laughs> practically. And this would be the Mavericks' third wire-to-wire -wire win in their last five games. And welcome to the Alamo City Grizzlies and Spurs. Second of four meetings between these two teams. This is the first one in San Antonio. And Jaren will have to exploit his size mismatch with his matchup is Steven Adams. Nice little lefty hook there from the big fella. There's a lot of similarities between these two teams. The pace at which they play, the areas of the floor where they like to get the majority of their shots. The glaring difference is the defensive side of the ball for team, but also the finishing basketball games. Huge differences. Desmond Bain, welcome back to the Grizzlies lineup. And oh, Ja gets clobbered. Created the contact by Derek White, and we'll get a trip to the free throw line. This is him opened up an eight point lead. Morant to the rim and in. No chance. He had no chance to stay in front of Morant as he gets all the way for the lefty lane. Morant to the rim again. Ja's back in. He tries for three and rips the cord. Morant drives the middle of the lane into a crowd, backhands it up and in! Are you serious? <laughs> well, being held, everything, still able to flip it over his shoulder, partner. Add that to the lineup for the uh, unbelievable play. Yes. Michelle, oh, and Morant hustle, messes it up! Wow! Able to get on the floor for that one for a low bounce pass. Able to get down there and come up with the steal. Morant there is able to finish in the paint. Morant drives, hangs, it's a flip that falls for John ja Morant. Grizzlies go up three. Morant, an open three, puts it in. John ja Morant now two of four from beyond the arc. 18 for Morant. Morant elevates. Got his own miss. Goes back to the cup and lays it in. Sensational sequence by John ja Morant. Morant hits the floater. Morant reversing that up and in. Holy cow! Oh, the stand in is steal by Morant, but lost it to Pirtle. Melton to the rim, off the glass, and in. Nice drive there by Melton. Nice high, soft finish with the left. Now a steal by Melton. Now we get the slam. Uh oh, oh Morant. Yeah! Off the setup by Killian Tilly. Greg Popovich has seen John Moran just one time this year, and after that game, he called him a special talent. Said he gets to the rim as easy as anyone I've ever seen. In that sense, he said he reminds him a lot of Tony Parker when he was young, getting to the rim constantly. Best third quarter score oh, in the yes, league. Sir. And a lot for Brandon Clark. What an insane setup by Morant. You're tell me this team doesn't have fun. Yes. Clark. Yes.
Morant against Murray in the lane among the trees and lays it in. A fourth consecutive 30-point game for John Morant. So Eubanks has come in the game and changed the entire complexion of this game. Ja challenges him, floats it up and in. 32 for Morant, who's averaging 35 a game on this road trip. Morant, a pull-up three. Got yes. the bounce. Morant draws a foul from Pirtle. That's four on Pirtle and free throws for Morant and makes them both. Four-point lead. Just under two remaining. Morant around the screen. Down the lane. Draws another foul on Pirtle. Made them both. Bain. Morant. Another foul. And Morant will go back to the free throw line. 40 for Morant. And it will become official. Oh, Grizzlies yeah. have won four straight over San Antonio. 41 from John Moran. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the excitement of the NBA. The Memphis Grizzlies take on the Utah Jazz. Morant drives, dumped down Stephen Adams. Hooked off the mark, and John is there for the rebound follow. Great start for the All-Star. What better way to start your first game after your All-Star starting nomination? And the thing that he did was he turned down the floater to get one of Stephen Adams and said, Stephen Adams, I'll get it back. Oh, look at this. Jaron blocks the three by Bogdanovich. Morant lobs for Zaire Williams. And Adams pulls off the three-point miss. Jazz three of seven. Here's a lob for Zaire. Again, Morant to Williams for the dunk. Bullet pass, Clark, yes. Got by Rudy Gay. Tend to shoot for Morant against Pascal. Gonna take him to the cup, contact, and more free throws and Morant has twisted his ankle. Pascal missed the chippy. Morant for three. Bingo! Morant cuts and finishes off the setup by Melton. Great baseline out of bounds play. And Conley, oh, what a challenge by Morant. He misses, ball loose. Here comes Morant to the rim and in! Oh, end to end electricity by John Morant! See if there are any ill effects of that left ankle for John Moran, who twisted it late in the second quarter. Hits the floater. Shot clock at eight. Bogdanovich drives the lane, misses the high arcer. A tap out rebound by Adams. Morant three on three. Waits for the traffic to clear. Bingo! Four on three, John Morant. Morant drives, dump off, Tilly. Clarkson lost his footing. Ball to the floor. Bogdanovich and Melton rakes it away. Grizzlies with numbers. Morant lobs it up for Brandon Clark. Timeout Jazz. I don't, I don't know if BC, BC didn't know what was going to happen. He didn't know if Morant was going to speed dribble to take the dunk. And so he started to, he held up just a little bit. And then once Morant threw it, he said, oh, I got to go finish. Well, a hustle play by DeAnthony Melton. So what else is new? 24th game with multiple steals for D-Melt. Grizzlies by 10. Pasco. Oh, oh missed the dunk! Morant through the lane, hangs, finds Clark again. And this time Clark scores. And for Morant, look for the triple-double. That's rebound number nine. Seven assists as well. Morant Ooh, in and out, up hello. and under and in! Morant oh, yes. lobs for Clark to beat the clock with 1.3. Bain off the curl, in rhythm, yes. Such good action run there by the Grizzlies. Had the Utah Jazz defense discombobulated. Well, we're in a clutch situation under five to play margin within five. Grizzlies have the second best win percentage in these games. Morant the third best score, and on cue, there it is. 26 for Morant. Clarkson, a step back over Morant, who partially blocked that three, I think. Bogdanovich, the loose ball. Jaron for three. Bingo! There's your triple-double for John Morant. His fourth career triple-double. And Jaron 
whose three got the Grizzlies the one-point win in Utah, delivers another big triple in the clutch. Grizzlies by 10, and there's Mr. Do Something. Finds Morant, reverses it up, and in! Morant. Right. Yes! Five consecutive 30-point games for John Morant. A 30-point triple-double. Grizzlies take the season series. Has scored in his third season out of Murray State. Number 12, John Morant. Morant, his three, is through. The difference in his game this season is you cannot try to stand and wait for him in the paint because he is very comfortable with knocking down that rhythm three. Morant with a leaner. John has the first five. And another offensive rebound and second chance opportunity for the Grizzlies. And that has been the tale of this game right now, the offensive rebounding ability of the Grizzlies. And that man right there stays sizzling on the offensive end. He is a bad man. John Morant with eight and two for two from the long line. Morant get to the rim. Oh, simply scintillating and magical is John Morant, a 10-point first quarter for Morant. Morant, oh my! Fancy finger roll. See, that, see that's what I like called levitation. Part. Yeah, that is. When you, when you jump from the second hash mark and you finish on the other side of the basket with ease. By the way, Morant leading the league in paint points, better than 15 a game. Adds to his total tonight. 16 for Morant, six in the quarter. Morant on the runway. Levitates, hangs and hits. Oh my goodness. Some of this stuff is I think, I think, almost unbelievable. Uh, pardon me, I think he did the cabbage patch. After he made the shot, if I'm not mistaken, and he is too young to even know what the cabbage patch is, partner. He's a renaissance man. Man. Oh, good hustle Morant. by Morant. Morant floats, hits. Caldwell Pope, Dinwiddie on a spin away. Oh, 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 oh. That's insane. Foul. Now look at his partner. He windmills this. Look at the windmill. Mm. Head on the rim. Now th this is going to be challenged. Upon review, the challenge is successful. The ruling on the floor is going to be a no call. At the time of the whistle, Moran was already in his shooting motion. So the result of the play is going to be a big basket. Washington will man the ball on the baseline. All right, Morant was in the shooting motion at the time of contact. No call, so you go back and the basket counts. Oh, man, look at this. Look at this, partner. Unbelievable. Head on the rim. Mm. And a delivery by Jaron Jackson Jr. Morant. Spoon ball. Morant, a straightaway three, puts it in. Harrell at the top of the defense. Morant walks into another three. It's through! Morant with back-to-back -back threes. Harrell daring him to try. Morant cuts through, lays it in. 34 for Morant, who's averaging better than 35 a game in the last five. Morant against Holiday. Oh, wow. Drop off Adams for the dunk. Second assist for Morant. Three seconds remain. Abdia. Oh, Jared Carver! An exclamation point, and the Grizzlies win it by 20. 115 to 95. Going wire to wire, leading by as many as 27. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the excitement of the NBA. From Wells Fargo Center in Philadelphia, Grizzlies start a three game road trip. A matchup of the two hottest teams since the 26th of December. Grizzlies have won 16 of their last 19. Sixers have won 14 of their last 17. Shot clock down to five. Morant on a blow by Hangs. Levitates, banks it in. John Morant up to his old tricks. Corner three is in. Matisse Stiebel not known as an offensive threat. Jaron has that one sent back. Tobias Harris is doing all of it right now. And Maxie got to the rim, got by Bain, and the Grizzlies call for time. 
Morant with a leaner. Under the foul, got none, but he got the hoop. Morant with four. Midway point, first quarter. Maxi drives and gets that one to drop in. You're looking at two of the best sophomores in the NBA, Tyrese Maxey and Desmond Bain. Maxey slalom, scoops and scores, Tyrese Maxey. And we talked about it, Brevin. He's a very, very impressive player. Maxey on the lob to Drummond. Here's Maxey, a three, put it in. Tyrese Maxey. Morant, a scoop and score, going right at the big fella. Morant, short, tap out rebound to an open area. Maxey. And Tyrese Maxey with 11 in the first quarter. And the Grizzlies take another timeout. Good D here by Maxey. Staying with it, though, Bain. No reset of the shot clock. Uh, I was talking with Kate Scott, the TV voice of the Sixers. And Embiid, skills of a guard and the size of a big. And Tyrese Maxey just has skills everywhere. 13 for Maxey. Morant splits the defense, takes flight, hangs and hits off glass. John Morant with a dozen. John Morant did bite on the pump fake. Here's Harris for three. Every time they have bit on a pump fake, it has resulted in a positive for the 76. Maxi drives on Jaron, lays it in, and is fouled. Morant turns the corner, dotted Ooh. line, stops on a dime, and ties the game at 65. Morant again attacking, crossing over and getting to the goal. Euro step. Harris deflected by Adams and Great keeps it in seat. play. Morant. Oh, wow. Williams oh, wow. with the dunk and what a pass by John ja Morant. Grizzlies lead at 69-67. And he brought out the jungles. How about that? They didn't call the foul. That was great. They didn't call the foul. Up the behind the back on the run to Zaire. Bain, that's blocked by Maxi. Morant ties the game again at 71. Drummond screens. Maxi drives on Adams and banks it in. Tyrese Maxi with 20. His 13th 20 point game of the season. Morant elevates. Got another one. 20 for Morant. Oh, and the Grizzlies lose Andre Drummond with eight tenths of a second on the shot clock. Philadelphia gets the bucket to go up five. Morant around the end. Attacks, oh, leads wow. in and scores. John Morant. Maxi. One foot runner from outside the free throw line for Maxi. And that's deflected, stolen by Anderson. DeAnthony bombs for Morant. <laughs> and he's revving it up. Just like Vince Carter, and he ties the game at 80. And throw it changes into the floor. Quicker than any. Maxi. Well, they're going to they're gonna have to start to go underneath these Maxi screens. Seth Curry for three. And the lead grows to four. Morant hangs, banks, hits it a foul. No, no foul. <laughs> no, just no whistle. No whistle. Four minutes remaining in regulation. Morant floats, hits. See it again with the high screen. The high screen, as long as Maxi keeps going over, Morant has Andre Drummond at his mercy. Maxi drives and somehow able to snake that one home. 26 for Maxi. Two minutes remaining in regulation. Grizzlies down three. Morant through the lane, throws up a prayer and gets an answer. Maxi, seven to shoot. Thibel drives off the glass, banked it in. Matisse Thibel, not a prime time offensive weapon, but a timely bucket by Thibel. Bain, fly by, a triple by Bain, it's in to tie the game at 108. Curry. He dropped the ball. Drummond dropped the ball, and the Grizzlies a chance for the lead. Morant against Harris. Takes him in the lane, pump fakes, pitches it out, and a foul called on the pass off. It'll be free throws for Morant. And Philadelphia will use one of its two remaining timeouts. Curry drives, banks it in, and Philly the lead. 110 109. Jaron with a handoff for Bain. Bain drives, and Maxi grabbed it out of his hands and went out of bounds. They're going to call a jump ball. They're going to call a jump ball with 27.2 remaining. Grizzlies win the tap. And it's the matchup that they would like. No help here. 
Morant against Danny Green. Backs him down in the lane. He elevates. Doesn't get it. Foul. Foul him. Did the Grizzlies get the foul on Drummond? Yes. The Grizzlies chase Maxi. And Zaire Williams takes the foul. Maxi on the season is 86% from the line and three for three tonight. Maxi, what a two. Timeout. Matisse Thibel guards Morant. He drives the lane, hangs, puts yes. it up in the end, and a foul! John Morant with 7.4. The Bulldog crossover takes the contact, is able to contort and finish. Morant misses, and the Grizzlies lose the rebound to Seth Curry. Curry nearly losing his footing. Puts it up and off. It's boarded by the Grizzlies. And we head to overtime. Maxi throws up a wild shot and draws a foul. And Tyrese Maxi to the line and in a bit of distress. Maxi with 29 and now the Sixers lead. Morant against Drummond. Now against Thibel. Creates. And the foul. These are made. This is tight quarters. The pump fake there and then the extra step. Understand, I have one more step. Gets into tight quarters. Great handles, keeps the ball away. And then there, the little step across. With his big fella, Steven Adams, making sure that I'm cleared the way for you. And Morant completes the end one. Grizzlies by two, Drummond with five fouls. Bain against Maxi, five to shoot. Desmond off the bounce, a pull up. Yes, sir! Desmond Bain ties his career high with 32. Harris attacks. 31 for Tobias Harris. Adam screens for Bain. Desmond, a leading jumper. It's in again. Desmond Bain, a new career high. 34 for Bain. Maxi drives. Oh, good block by Jaron. Danny Green for three. Put it in. Job drives. Swatted by Drummond. Maxi drives and Philadelphia the lead 121-19, 26.4 remaining in the first overtime. The Grizzlies take timeout. Morant against Thibel, 10 to shoot. Ja driving in the lane. Zaire Williams for three. No. Rebound. Thrown ahead to Maxi. And Philadelphia wins it. Zaire Williams is starting at the forward of the rookie, Jaron Jackson, who's played well. Steven Adams in his first year with Memphis and that terrific backcourt of Desmond Bain and Ja Moran. Barrett has the formidable task of denying Ja. Moran gets inside, layup is good. As I mentioned in the top, he leads the NBA in points in the paint. That's incredible for a guard. Yeah, 16 per game. That hasn't been done in 25 years. Fournier had that great start the other night, drives it to the paint, kicks it back out, bad pass, and a steal. These guys lead the league in steals 10 a game. Moran to Williams, the alley-oop. And Williams at number one pick. Moran off the bounce. I don't see, I wouldn't guard him out there. Drop off of him. That's how he gets around, guys. Floats it up, shot, rolls around, and drops in. Make him hit a couple of outside shots. Exactly there. right. What they're doing is you close, guard him close, he wheels and deals right around you. Boy, deflected by Adams. Adams is the best offensive rebounder in the league this year, and it leads to a Melton three. Serendipity. Melton's a good three-point shooter and knocks that one down. Yeah, previously the right side, this time the left side. And the Knicks are watching threes. And the Knicks answer down the other end as Julius Randle who missed his first three from downtown. It's that one. All four of his shots have been from three. See Merlin's Noel in the game. Moran off one foot. Yeah, good bad shot shooter. Creating off the bounce. Randle will try another three. Julius Randle. They got a lot of threes early. Yeah, Adams averaging nine pounds. I think he's just, look at this guy. Who's got it here? Nobody near Melton. Tom Thibodeau, annoyed, calls timeout. Three consecutive three balls by Melton. Morant leaks out, man. Nick's just not ready on that. How can Morant leak out? The guy that's on the backboard a hundred times. The free throw woes continue. Knicks have missed six, now 11 of 17. Barrett just missed two. Randall just missed two. Crowd who and on with their futility from the line. Morant spins, gets inside. Bank shot is good. 
He is fearless going to the rim. He's 6 3. Randall is 6 9. And he's able to create and devastate. Moran again gets inside using that left hand. He's equally adept with both hands. Why would you guard him on the perimeter and let the guy go around and drop off of him? Fournier. Again, Mix leaving their feet. Morant goes inside, throws it up, and Williams with the flush. There's the unselfishness of John ja Morant. And the creativity. Jackson, a good defender. Randall falls down and throws it away. Morant cross back. And Morant with the flush. The turnover is costly. That's his dad, T, who's loving what he's seeing from his son. And watch how high this kid gets up at 6 3 4. Just uncanny, mesmerizing, intoxicating the way he plays the game. I mean, this one is 175, but he looks slimmer than that. To me. <laughs> he sure does. Three pointer is good once again. The rookie able to knock it down. Zaire Williams, the rookie from Stanford, the 10th overall pick. Moran inside, nice look. That's his seventh assist to Zaire Williams. Continues to have a huge game 19 points, 12. Here in the third, that's a season high for him. Ten point game, final minute, third quarter. Knicks continue to trail, closing the gap a little bit. Morant whips it out, Bain. Yeah. Finally gets one to go. He was one for 11. Yeah, but look how uncontested he was. All the Knicks in the painted area. Morant. Robinson once again with the block. That's five block shots, but and then the Knicks the turn it over. Mention these guys lead the league in steals, 10 a game. Jackson. Jackson comes back with a big three, and that makes it 14. This guy is lethal from behind the arc tonight. Letting this guy come right. And Moran that time goes inside. Yep, he's going to do that all evening. You don't take away that. Knicks need to foul, either steal or foul. That's the only hope now. Make them hit free throws. Moran drives and lays it up, and that'll do it. That makes it an 11-point game, and yeah, that'll do it. Knicks again with some strong effort in trying to come back, but every time they made that big run, it seemed like the Grizzlies would hit a big three, sometimes off a, a wild bounce of the ball. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the excitement of the NBA. From Amway Center in Orlando, Florida, the Grizzlies wrap up this road trip as they take on the Orlando Magic. Desmond Bain did not shoot it well in New York, nor did John Morant, but they found ways to get it done, and there's a lob over the top, and Jaron Jackson Jr. coming off his fourth double-double of the season, 26 and 10, with two blocks and four made triples. The first score of the game. Morant, like a lightning bolt down the lane, makes it 6-4. Morant for three. Bango. And Morant, who did not shoot it well, particularly from distance in New York, went 0 of 6 from downtown and just 9 of 27 overall. Triples the Grizzlies into a one-point lead. John, a speed dribble, sets up an open Jaron for three. It's through for Jaron Jackson Jr. And he triples the Grizzlies into the lead. And a highly entertaining and offensive-minded first four minutes. Zaire for three, puts in another one. Zaire Williams, two of three from the long line. Hit three of five from deep and setting a career high with 21 against the Knicks. Off for Morant and he banks it in. Brandon Clark with the setup. A little more than three remaining first quarter. Morant, hesitation move, got around Suggs, found Clark, he pogo sticks and hits. Rizzi's lead it by four with three minutes remaining. Morant got the step, got to the goal, yes, and the foul. Wow. Going right at Terrence Ross and finishing at the cup. Morant off the bounce, finger rolls it up and in. With the left, John Morant. Morant's back in the game behind an Adams screen, and he leans and hits. Morant attacks off the glass and in. You know that go get buckets is just in his middle name. As Morant is able to finish as Steven Adams clears the way. Clark screens and Morant hits another leaner. And you got four minutes and a 14 point lead. Can you build on that lead? Morant hangs and gets the roll. Oh, you got a lot of body down low also, but Morant torching the magic here in the paint. Suggs back in. Morant going behind the back. What a move. And scores it. And Morant very light on his feet going back the other way. And why not? 22 point lead and 22 for Morant. Uh -oh. Morant. Yes. 24 for Morant. So we resume play. Eight on the shot clock. Avoid that area at all costs. Please. 
Jaron hits the three. Jaron Jackson Jr., his second triple of the game. And the rebound to Okiki Wagner. Just flat out lost it out of bounds. I thought he's going to stay with Orlando. Morant denying Anthony, and then that ball is kicked and side out to Orlando. Wagner is a very bright spot for the yeah, team. Yeah, very much so. Morant, speed dribble, hangs, banks, and hits in an and one for John Morant. There is no light brighter than the light that shines on John Morant. Wagner thinks he's played good defense, but Morant able to muscle and finish with that left hand. And Morant, a highly efficient night, 26 points on 18 shots, 12 of 18 from the floor. And the MVP chance. Start here on the road again. Here's Melton for three, and he hits again. DeAnthony Melton, his third triple in five tries to give him nine in an Orlando timeout. Kyle, four to shoot. Baseline maneuver, a turn and gun off the glass. No, rebound out to Clark, and Morant takes it to the rim. For Morant, his 18th 30-point game of the season, he's got 31. Weaves by Lopez. Oh, 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 my! On his head! It was only a matter of time, partner. It was only a matter of time. He toyed with him. He toyed with him. Well, I ain't playing with you no more. I'm not playing. Robin Lopez, you know I love you, but you're on the poster, too. Mm, mm, mm. 33 for Morant. And a crowd that was filled with a lot of Beale Street blue enjoys this one profusely. 135-115. John Morant, a game-high 33 as the Grizzlies had seven in double figures tonight. Shot 50% from the floor. Grizzlies now 15-1 and one when they shoot 50% or better from the floor. They held the Magic to just 43%. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the excitement of the NBA. Grizzlies basketball on Valley Sports is presented by FanDuel Sportsbooks. From fabulous FedEx for my Beale Street in downtown Memphis, Tennessee, the Grizzlies with a drop-in home game as tonight they take on the Los Angeles Clippers. Zaire Williams out of the corner for three and two. Zaire gets the proceedings off to a good start for the Grizzlies. Norman Powell, seventh season out of UCLA. DeMar DeRozan with a three-point shot. Morant to the rim and in. Desmond Bain against Kyle. Bain are out of screen. Lost the ball, but right into the hands of Kyle Anderson. Eight to shoot for Morant against Powell. Adams sets the screen. Job floater. Yes, sir. Shot clock down to two. Morant, floater in the lane. Jackson. Good move by Reggie Jackson. He's got four. Melton pulls up and hits. Well, Reggie Jackson went to the floor, and I like what the Grizzlies did. It immediately pushed the basketball, and Morant head up, realizing where the open guy was. Nice setup to Melton. Good knock away, good steal there by the Grizzlies. Three on one, Lob Morant. <laughs> the Clippers go back to a little zone defense. Morant got clipped and one. Had Powell on his hip. Morris. I beg your pardon, Covington is guarding Adams. Morant on the attack to the rim and in. Did you see what Steven Adams? Uh -huh. he, didn't, he didn't screen. Morris was defending John Morant. He didn't screen him. He screened Covington. Jackson, speed dribble. One on one with Melton. Crosses him over. Goes baseline and then banks. No. Tapped in by Covington. Robert Covington. And Covington has been huge off the bench. He's got nine. Morant, a three. Bango! Grizzlies trying to go two for one, and Morant delivers his first triple of the game. And he said, this team does not get worried when they get down. It doesn't matter, double digits, whatever it may be. They continue to fight as Morant. Just that little floater there on the baseline. Morris for three. Morris, nightmarish shooting night for him. Ja. Steven finds John and Morant weaving, attacking, and laying it in. Wow, wow, wow. Do a little dance. Get down tonight. Boy, boy, snatched it through, pardon the one hand with the left. Watch it, keep it in the left, snatch it through, and now it's just elevation. 
elevation, levitation, mm. sensation. Grizzlies, their biggest lead of 20. Zubats. Air balls the hook. And he's one of the better hook shot guys in the NBA, but an air ball there. Morant walks into a jumper and hits. Double figures in the third for Ja. Morant in attack mode. Oh, what a move! He gets the Zubats. All he can do is shake his head. That's when you put the brakes on him, Petey. Melted for three. Bingo! Five point possession for the Grizzlies. Off the flagrant foul penalty, two, the free throws, and then the three ball. I know last year we used to talk about fourth quarter job. This year's third quarter job. That's his all game job. Rob Puncher! Rebounded by Morant. That would, would have brought the house down. Morant that lobs it. and Clark slams. <laughs> you gotta get another. We'll run it back again. Noah Conchar, yours was close. But I got someone that's gonna finish this as he gets Brandon Clark on a big two hand finish. Grizzlies go to 38 and 18. Clippers now fall two games below 500. Grizzlies win it tonight, 135, 109. They have won now three in a row. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the excitement of the NBA. Grizzlies basketball and Valley Sports is presented by FanDuel Sportsbook. From Little Caesars Arena in downtown Detroit, the Grizzlies start a run of three on the road as tonight they take on the Detroit Pistons. Too so many guys when a guy makes a shot can kind of give the, the hand gestures. Nice move here. And one for Steven Adams. But Stewart made that jumper, partner. He kind of did his hands like, oh, I can make a shot. The Grizzlies by six. Bain rings the bell. There you go. And I like that one, the rhythm to give him the bounce to get into the shot. Not a stagnant shot for Bain there. Moran created a little space, and you could hear the ooze from the crowd thinking he committed an offensive foul, but no air in the whistle. So Moran, his first field goal of the game. Well, sometimes you get into this part of continuing to start over. And that is what has happened, I think, to this Pistons team as Moran able to get that floater in the middle of the zone. Garza. And rebound to Morant. Early delivery. Adams. Foul. Yes. Corey Joseph, my friend, you are not strong enough to deal with Steven Adams. Morant hits the floater. What a little move to get Diallo on his hip. And that is where Morant likes to get the defender. And the defender is completely at his mercy. Morant, an open three. Bango. Needed that in the worst way. Ten to shoot. Bain drives. Morant, seven to shoot. Morant in the lane, elevates, hangs, hits, and draws the foul. A much needed hoop for the Grizzlies. Bain misses at the rim. Pistons wanted a foul. Jaron walks into a three. I mean, you think about a lot of this is the second quarter rolling into the third quarter in terms of not a lot of pace. Melton, another three. DeAnthony, three of four from beyond, 11 for Melton off the bench. Melton for three. Good again, DeAnthony Melton, four of five from beyond the arc. Melton in the paint. Oh, a great drop off to Morant for the dunk. Morant with 16, Melton his third assist. Morant for three. Bango! Oh, that one G. That's good. Yes. All G. The Grizzlies, 133, 107 over the Detroit Pistons to move to 39 and 18 on the season. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the excitement of the NBA. Grizzlies basketball on Valley Sports is presented by FanDuel Sportsbook. From Spectrum Center in downtown Charlotte, North Carolina, it's the Memphis Grizzlies and the Charlotte Hornets. Morant drives against Rozier and lays it in. And just a couple of years ago, John Morant had the game-winning bucket in this building. Two and a half gone by first quarter. Morant, hesitation move against Rozier, leans, contact, sets up Bain for an open three. Bango, Desmond Bain, who regained his shooting touch last night, or two nights ago in Detroit, three of four from beyond, and he triples the Grizzlies to a five-point lead. Skip pass for Rozier, got Zaire in the air, drives, pulls up, that one honeycombing in and out, tapped around a couple of times, Oubre is stripped, ball loose, Jaron has it, and gets it somehow to Bain. Grizzlies have scored eight in a row. Back door, Morant hangs and hits. Timeout, Charlotte. Look, great defense again here by the Grizzlies. Zaire Williams with the interception. Up ahead, Morant. Bain at open three. Yes, sir! 
corner, Desmond Bain rings the bell. And the Grizzlies, a 19-2 lead. Morant one-on-one with Rozier, elevates and hits. Morant with six. You don't have Gordon Hayward, so now in terms of your wing players, you are having to go a little bit deeper into their bench, meaning the Charlotte Hornets. But Cody Martin's a good player for him, too. Lock for Clark! I said, if you don't put wow. a body, don't he's going to get to the rim. Well, Steven is an artistic guy, plays the guitar. So, you know, a little, little flair, understands. Morant hanging and banking it in against Plumlee. Uh, as quickly as they missed the free throw, Morant was all the way down the floor scoring. Morant levitates and hits again. Timeout. Uh, we got, what do we got? James Williams with there in the whistle. Ball for three. Now 0 for 5 from 3 for LaMelo Ball. Oh, wow. Law for Clark! And James Borrego calls another timeout. Grizzlies 60 to 28. Charlotte just 10 of 25 in the painted area. Morant to the rim and in! Oh my! John Morant, electric, going strong to the rack. A dozen for Morant. The pass here. Adams. Steven Adams. And Charlotte already three team fouls here early in the third quarter. Morant takes flight. Oh, oh wow. And a foul. And, wow. <laughs> and a big time baseline oh, reaction from John Morant. Rozier, no. Lob, yes. Zaire Williams. Rozier. He can, he can get hot now. He's three of eight is Rozier. 24 for Rozier. He's the game high scorer. At 25 last night, he's on the boil again. Ja through the lane, yes, and the foul. Great response by Morant after the Rozier three. Kyle for three. And the Grizzlies, and Conchar with a takeaway. Morant, ball fake, Conchar, no. Morant offensive rebound, and he finishes it. Well, the hustle of John Conchar made that possible, even though he didn't finish off the play. Morant. Elevates and hits. A big bucket by Moran. Harold against Clark. Rebound deflected out to Moran. Grizzlies three on two if they hurry. Job behind the back. Slaloms and gets it to roll in. Timeout Charlotte. And the Grizzlies all-star coming back after tweaking his left ankle. Back-to-back -back buckets to put the Grizzlies up 14. Moran down the lane. Got free and laid it in. Needed baskets Morant has provided on three baskets. Hammer, nail, coffin. This baby is over. The Grizzlies survive a furious rally by Charlotte. They go wire to wire for consecutive games and win it 125 to 118. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the excitement of the NBA. Grizzlies basketball on Valley Sports is presented by FanDuel Sportsbook. From fabulous FedEx Four Mount Beale Street to downtown Memphis, Tennessee, the Memphis Grizzlies welcome in the Portland Trailblazers. Block for Zaire Williams. Morant over the top. Take this Portland roster lightly at your own risk. Here's Bain out of the corner for three. Bango. Great screen set by Jaron Jackson Jr. The reason why the Grizzlies struggle in the paint, we just saw it. Five guys in the paint defensively. Good flare screen set by Jaron. Morant off the high glass. And the Grizzlies going to score. Out of the timeout. Morant sitting out last night's game with the sore left ankle. Nurkic will crank up a triple. And the rebound to Bain. Portland has played the second toughest schedule to date. Morant again to the rim and is. You, you see the bounce that is in his legs. Morant got McLemore in the air. Attacks Nurkic, hangs and hits. How in the world did he do that? Short shot clock, Morant steps out for three and puts it in. Morant putting on a show. An 11 point first quarter for John Morant and pulls the Grizzlies within three. Brown. Morant speeding to the rim and in. 15 first quarter points for Morant. Hey, what he's so good at, partner. Going at a fast blur speed but shooting the ball with such softness. All right, misses that three there. Rebound tap to Melton. A pitch ahead for Morant. Dump off for Clark. 
He curls, Pogo sticks, and rolls it in. You know it's coming, but you really can't stop it. Morant snakes through, off glass and in. 25 for Morant. Melton for three. Bango. Grizzlies with it, seven. Morant curls, hits the leaner. Morant with 27. Grizzlies, of course, played last night, winning in New Orleans. Portland was hanging out in the hotel last night. Grizzlies get a turnover. Morant, a throwback. Bain, a side step, triple try, it's in. And just like that, the Grizzlies with an eight. And Desmond Bain rebounding from an uneven night for him last night. Three of 11, had 11 points last night. Bain, another three, good again. Desmond Bain, the 12th time he has had five or more threes. Hart, blocked by Jaron. Morant, speed dribble, lays it up and in. Four. Morant presses the issue to score. Simons. And Morant boards the mess. Jaron. Yes. First field goal for Jaron Jackson Jr. Morant over the top. Jaron banks it in against Nurkic. Tough chance by Jaron. Melton, a catch and shoot. Three, it's through. Brandon Clark tried to get in there for the tap. Kyle Anderson still can win the tap. Tap is got to go over. He got to go with his left hand. He goes with his right hand. Grizzlies won it anyway. Morant crossing over. Contact. Put it in. And now another technical foul. I think on Portland. No, it's on no, John Morant. It's on John Morant. For taunting. Simons with 26. Morant, a spin and a finish. Sensational. John Morant. Oh, wow. Puts it down, keeps it in the one hand. The same, look at it. Spin, same hand, put it down, and then go finish. Spin, same. Ooh. Bang for the tie. It's in. against Nurkic, attacks, slices, dices, and scores! 41 for Morant, tied in season high. Third time he's recorded 41 this season. Portland wins it tonight, 123 to 119. Well, tonight marks the 101st all-time meeting between the Memphis Grizzlies and the Minnesota Timberwolves, and the all-time series is tied at 50 to 50. The Timberwolves looking to get a leg up here tonight on their home floor. Neither team with an early advantage in the shooting percentage battle. They are both exactly 0%. Until right then, Zaire Williams get fed by John Morant to finish the alley-oop. Edwards, step backs into a long two. Vanderbilt works the offensive glass, and the Wolves are finally on the board. Well, Vanderbilt looks re-energized. He needed a week off if anybody did in the Timberwolves lineup. He was really banged up, and coming out of the break, you can expect a lot more of that as Desmond Bain does what he does. Oh, my goodness, John Morant behind the back. Why he's an MVP candidate, and you can't let him split if, there, if there's too much space between the defender and the pick and roll help guy. The, sh the show that time too much space. Jaws just waiting for that big to step out there. I mean that's just, just I mean that's just work that's working in tight spaces. That's the ability to use your handle to get to where you want to on the floor, and then to avoid Malik Beasley as well. Breathtaking. Vanderbilt for Prince for Russell. Oh! Nothing coming easy tonight. And John Morant, this spectacular play on the other end. Morant. Only eight in the game for Morant, but they have been of the spectacular variety. Morant. Ooh. Dumps it inside for Clark. Gets it back to Morant, who hits right as the shot clock was about to dwindle down to zero. And that one does rattle in for Morant, who's coming up limping a little bit again. He's holding that, that left hip. 
Morant gets into the paint and gets it to fall. And all those floaters he hits in the paint are just he's so good. You know what, Jim? Throw all that away, though. All that matters is how do you how do you play this final 320? You're not throwing it away if you're Chris Finch. I mean, it's it's one of the things they work on it so much in, in shoot around as well. Morant. And it's back to a one-point game. Morant for Clark. And he got fouled. Another and one opportunity. It's going to be on Vanderbilt. And that is going to be it for Vando. Zaire Williams. And that will close it out. The teams with the third and fourth best records in all the NBA get set to go in Chicago tonight. Tristan Thompson coming off an impressive Bulls debut. Ayo Dosumu had the lockdown D on Trey Young. He'll try to contain the lightning quick John Morant and the Memphis Grizzlies tonight. Ayo on Morant. Adams had such good screen from that big body and Morant penetrates so well. Levine found himself free for three. Oh, bang, bang, bang. And one. What a finish by John Moran. It looked like he had nowhere to go and flipped it high off the window. Yeah, I mean, his jumping ability allows him to hang in the air a little bit longer. There's another drive by John Moran. Six field goals for Memphis, three apiece for Adams and Moran. And that's where the Bulls have to come in. They have to do the same thing. You've got to attack them. Melton back the other way. Up pass out to Moran. Quarter and Memphis leads by 11 in the first. DeRozan steps in. First field goal of the night for DeMar DeRozan. And that time there was a miscommunication defensively on how they wanted to play DeMar that time. You saw Bain talk to his teammate like, we're going to switch this or what are we going to do? Tough shot oh, by DeRozan. Wow. Big shot. Big shot. Here's Moran into the paint with the floater. His first points of the second quarter. Need to shoot. Low pass. Nice play by Green. He's got numbers. Four on one. DeRozan to Kobe. There you go. Textbook fast break. Got to get back. Got to get back. Oh, that screen. Oh, oh wow. Morant. That was wow. impressive. Wow, that was a nice play. That, that was a nice setup to get that play. He reminds me so much of Derrick Rose. That, that yeah. explosiveness. Oh, my goodness. Levine off the screen of Vucevic. Knocks it down. It's a long two for Zach. Levine. A three. Got it. Oh, bang, bang, bang. It's a seven-point game. It's a big shot from Moran. The Rosen picked up by Moran. The ball stars here. The blitz on him. Here's Levine. The kick. Kobe. Big three. Knocks it down. Sriracha. And here's Moran. Pass to Osumu. What an adjustment by John Moran. Can't leave him down there by himself. You gotta come out and be ready to go. There's Vucevic, and there's that big front Fox. line. Jackson and Adams. And John oh. Moran takes it all the way. He's got 21. Five quick ones in the quarter for Moran. Timeout is called by Billy Donovan as Memphis has regained a 13-point lead. Nice job by Green to get back, deflect the ball. Io to Levine. With the jam. There you go. And the Bulls have done a good job in transition, pushing the ball and not allowing them to get back when they've been able to run. Levine, the pump fake, back to DeRozan, stepping into a three. Bang, bang, bang. Into double figures goes DeMar. Levine, step back. That's a three from Levine. Yeah. Sizzle. Woo. Kobe White had a steam lock for Green off the heel. Morant now back. Now he's going to play it, and they execute it at this end. Zaire Williams got the jam. Levine trying to fight through that screen. Morant gets the space for a three. He's having a nice third quarter as well. He's got eight in the frame. Oh, nice position by Levine. And a nice sealed pass by White there. Uh, nice entry pass. Good read by Kobe. Levine. And takeover mode. They need it. We definitely need him to be aggressive. Morant elevates over the defense. High flying indeed. Morant with the drive, the blow by to the rim with the left hand, and it's a big third quarter for John Morant. He's got 14 in the frame, and that's the lead for Memphis. The fake and the glide in nice by move. Nice move. Morant lost it. Here come the Bulls. DeRozan. All the way. Good take right there. Good defense. Kick to Dosumu. Shut off. Back to DeRozan. Deflected and stolen. 
Morant to Jones to Jones. Oh, wow. Oh, man, he went upstairs to get that one. A 20-point third quarter. The last two, the emphatic from the feed from Jones by Jobs. This here, he's going to give it up. See how he gives it up? And then he, he had time to look around to see where the defender was. Yep. He wanted to make sure that there was no one that was going to be able to block this. But, man, I tell you, everything is in the paint. 60 points in the paint to the Bulls 36. The Bulls announced two more in the paint. And he's got... 20 tonight. The Rosen to Thompson in the paint. Second field goal tonight for Tristan Thompson. Levine spinning pass melting. Oh, nice move. Nice move. Jones penetrates off the glass. Cleared by the Bulls. He's got numbers of their run. White to Jones. Oh, airplane mode. The Rosen. Oh. Monster of the mid range. Eight-point game, 6.35 to go. Tough defense oh, by DeMar. Give me that. Good defense. Calm, cool, collected. DeMar DeRozan. Compton's finest. Bulls nation. the timeout Memphis. It's a six-point game with six to go. White, the hesitation, pulls up and hits. Oh, big bucket. Big bucket by Kobe White. It's DeRozan. Over the rim, he got fouled, and he'll go to the line for two. Two-point game, 14-0 Bulls run. Got four minutes left in a two-point game. It's Moran stops and floats it in. His first two of the quarter, and Billy Donovan will use a timeout at the 3.56 mark. White trying to recover on Moran. There's him into a difficult shot, and he put it in. He's got 40 tonight. Does Ja Morant. Levine to DeRozan. Steps up, and knocks it down. Oh, Sriracha. Victory. Victory. Morant the cross, the drive, and a foul. 41 for Morant. His career high came earlier this year, 44. The beam, the kick, one, big three. Got it! Bang, bang, bang! Well, the base runs open. Morant flipped it, no, and a foul! And, and that play set up because Vooch is trying to front. Morant, 43, one off tying his career high. Three point game, 105 seconds left. It's DeRozan, all the way! Nice, strong move by DeMar. The screen by Adams. Moran into Vucevic. No. Tapped alive, and Memphis has it again. Jackson to Bain. Huge three, and he knocks it down. Boy, I tell you, that was a big offensive rebound for Memphis. Four-point game again. It's DeRozan crossing Jackson. Nearly got the friendly bounce. Vucevic with the offensive rebound, and a foul is called. Three-point game. The screen. Morant pulls up. No good. And Levine snatches the rebound. Pulls down three. Here okay. comes Levine. To the rim. And a foul. Levine sinks them both. Now the blitz. Jones launches it for Adams. Foul him. Now you have to foul when Adams had it. Yeah, instead, you got to foul him. Now instead you fouled an 87% shooter. Adams is 55% career. Jones with two clutch free throws. Three-point game into DeRozan. Looking for the two. Fakes, moves, and lost it in traffic. You got a foul now. And Levine will foul Morant up the floor with 5.3 remaining. And DeRozan just got tossed out of the game with his second technical foul. On a big stage in Chicago, John Morant with an exceptional performance for Memphis this evening. His speed and athleticism really sets him apart. A win streak for the Bulls comes to an end. They turned a 17-point deficit into a two-point game late with an impressive effort for the Bulls fall short tonight against the Memphis Grizzlies. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the excitement of the NBA. From fabulous FedEx Forum on Beale Street in downtown Memphis, Tennessee, the Memphis Grizzlies play their final game of February at home against the San Antonio Spurs. Rebound by Morant. 
against McDermott, who takes the foul. And Morant will go to the free throw line. Oh, Morant weaving his way through. Amazing stuff from John Morant. We see it every single night. Morant goes to retrieve. Shot clock down to four. He'll pull from deep. And put it in! Mr. Average, 32-footer. The shot clock running down and the hand in your face. Moran again on the attack against Pirtle. Air time and a bucket. Timeout San Antonio. Moran spins and figure rolls it in. Sensational John Moran. And the Grizzlies have the lead. Moran going in to end. After a made free throw, Morant, Quicksilver in sneakers. Wow. Adams cuts and finishes. Morant with a laser. Morant in the lane, nowhere to go. Fires up a fadeaway and puts it in. Nowhere to go but up and in for Ja Morant. 14 in the period. Of course, Morant leads the league in paint points per game. Well, he's just totally surrounded. Pirtle finally ties him up. San Antonio, total misplay there. Moran for three. Moran's yes. another three. Moran three for three from three. Six of his last seven from beyond the arc. Moran blows by Primo. Attack. Oh! Oh my goodness. Oh, oh God, my God. <laughs> Look at this. Partner, take an elbow sandwich as I get to the rim. Mm. Oh my. As the kids say, he caught a body. <laughs> look, at, look at the bench. And the crowd still shaking its collective head over what they saw. John Morant over Jakob Pertle. Morant for three. Do it again. <laughs> John Morant, 25. Morant around Pirtle. Again, all the way through to the rim and in. Pirtle has no chance of trying to trap him at the half court line. Morant just gets around. Now there's nobody to stop him at the rim. Adams going long. Morant. Oh, he hit it. He hit it. He hit it. John Morant gets 70. You got to be kidding me. Steven Adams first with the fantastic pass. I, I, I'm, pardon, I, I'm at a loss for words, man. Look at this. He, he tells him to throw it long, get my feet underneath me, in the air, behind the basket. I don't know which one is better. A 29-point first half for John Morant. Morant again through the lane into the glass. Morant, yes! Morant over Pirtle, hit another one. With Rob Fisher and Greva Knight, Pete Branica with you. It has been a sensational night for that guy. John Morant, he curls, he gets to the cup and lays it in. 37 for Morant. Anderson, Morant against Trey Jones. He spins, he flips it up and in. 39 for Morant. Morant lost it, somehow got it back. Tilly for three. Rebound Morant. Reverses it up and in. 41 for Morant. Rebound to Morant. Highest scoring two game span in franchise history. On the attack again, tried to reverse it. And gets knocked into the stanchion. He'll go to the line. Rob Fisher, you hear those chants? Yeah, I believe they're saying MVP, Pete. Morant, one of two. Morant, straight line drive, finger rolls it up and in. San Antonio. Good That's tip. deflected by Adams. Jaren's back on the floor with the five fouls. Drop off for Morant. Goes at Pirtle. Hangs. Banks it in. He ties his career high with 46. Uh -oh. Crosses over against Pirtle. Uh -oh. oh, John Morant. A new career high. Regular home postseason. 48 for Morant. I want Morant to get a 50-piece and then go to Chick-fil-A and ask for a 50-piece. 
And guess what? These fans want a 50 piece also. Melton, a three, gonna be short. Adams trying to save it. Bain nearly knocked it oh, away. Look at this. Oh, Jared with a steal. Morant. Yeah. Yeah. Again, and draws a foul, and will go to the free throw line. See, I want to see Tell Jenkins get John Moran out of this game just so that he can get the appreciation from this crowd. Would surprise me a bit. Yeah, here comes Tyus Jones. Tyus Jones, Zaire Williams will come in. Here's the applause for Moran. There's your 50 piece, 52 to be precise. Get everybody in there. Team photo. Get that 50 piece. <laughs> it's always a team effort for these guys. John, you were you were the man of the match tonight, but to see your teammates around you here like you just did, getting the pictures, everyone celebrating it with you, just what does that say about your team and, and how together you guys are? Man, that's what it's all about, man. Those are my dogs, you know, we, Battle each and every night since, you know, day one. Uh, you know, we all got each other back. We all happy for other success. And that goes to show it right there, you know, how they root me on and cheer for me. I got close and they told me to, you know, go get 50. And you can tell at the end they were looking for me. Well, the way that you got it, too, is you bring in a special guest. We saw that you were getting a little practice in before the game tonight. How'd that go? Yeah, yeah. Trying, to, trying to breed a hooper, man. <laughs> Put the ball in her hands early. She a little shot now with camera and everybody around, but... Uh, this is my baby, my motivation right here, and the only right to make history on a you know a night she's here to watch me. So, all right. Well, we talked on Saturday. That there have been times when you've gone into the spin where you wanted to dunk. Tonight, there was no stopping that dunk uh, against Pirtle. What what did you see? Uh, I was just you know a little frustrated. Uh, got put in the headlock. They called the jump ball, so uh, I had to go finish you know with authority um, and finish the play finally for all you know everybody who's saying almost. And that going one for y'all right there, man. And then that shot before the half, that had to even surprise you a little bit. Uh, for sure. Uh, Steve-O looked at me and just told me to run. I just started early. I just told him, you know, try to put it close to the rim as he can. And, he, you know, he delivered the pass, and I put everything into the shot, man, and it went in. So, For all the offense that we talk about, defense again tonight, that fourth quarter, you guys came through as a team, and it was a difference. Uh, big time. You know, Coach got on us. We was giving up, you know, too much points, uh, real easy baskets. So we had to lock in in order to, you know, come out with a win, uh, which we did. And, you know, we went down and executed on the other end and came out with a big win, you know, at home. Uh, first one back since, you know, the break. And it's on the right, you know, we, we do it for our fans. Congratulations. Great game tonight, Joe. Thank you. Greetings from Boston, Massachusetts. Tonight we're at TD Garden, the home of the Celtics. And the NBA's newest box office attraction, Ja Morant. And the Memphis Grizzlies have arrived, their first and only meeting in the regular season here in Boston. Tonight, the Grizzlies and the Celtics, they'll meet again in Memphis in April. Tuesday, Derek White was excellent. There's another turnover, and Melton will finish it. So back-to-back -back possessions, and the Celtics a little sloppy with the ball. Suddenly, Memphis within two. Moran, little scoop. He goes under. Lays it in. Williams and Adams hit the deck. Well, and now you know why they call Taylor Jenkins the Ted Lasso of the NBA. I mean, that is as positive as it gets as Moran flies to the basket and scores the layup. Nice pick by Anderson. Moran leaves it. Give it right back. Moran. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> John Moran taking one out of the rafters. Wow. 
Wow, I'll tell you, when you can throw lobs to your point guard, that gives you quite a weapon. This guy is a highlight show. The dunk he had on Monday, and then the, the alley-oop on the pass. I mean, those are two of the greatest plays of the year in the NBA as Moran fakes it, gives it, Melton, catch. And just like that, the Grizzlies have tied this game at 45. Well, I'm the good luck charm for Marcus Smart as Adams scores. All right, instead of just catching it high on the side, you allowed him back in the back behind me. Keep him up. I'll lead you to the rim. Jackson, quick turn to size mismatch with Smart on him. And Jackson with back-to-back -back buckets. And a dominant third quarter. This is something Boston has done a lot, especially since the new year as Moran finally knocks one down from three-point range. Had been 0 for 7 from beyond the arc. Morant's got 17. He's at 9 and a quarter. Now Tatum loses the handle, forcing another turnover up top. Bad pass by Anderson. He got it back. Morant follows it. Celtics thought that was in the cylinder. But Morant able to follow that one. Another second chance opportunity for Memphis. Biggest lead. Quick little 6-0 burst as Morant. Three-pointer is good. He's knocked down two from beyond the arc here in this third quarter. Extended run here for Boston as Morant gets inside, lays it in. Feels like with Boston's defense, they're just they're a tough team to come back from. And that is a big story because that was not the case earlier in the year for the Celtics. Morant gets it back and scores. Stayed with it with two Celtics around him, Tatum and Williams. Well, it's going to be interesting to see if Taylor Jenkins will make an adjustment and start trapping Tatum on the pick and rolls as Ja knocks down a three. Offensive rebounds and second chance points have been a big story tonight. Morant scores a tough basket. Thought there was contact. Tatum. Bain clears. Morant on his way. Morant, oh, he lays it in. Just hanging in the air. A massive vertical leap. 21 and 15 for Horford as Bain knocks down a triple. Here's Morant coming off that 52 point game. He hits a three. Morant just electrifying here in this second half. He's got 38 now. He's gone 46, 52, and 38. But it's going to be in a losing effort tonight. Boston keeps on trucking. They are 21 and 8 since January 1st. And one of the best teams in the Eastern Conference. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the excitement of the NBA. Grizzlies basketball on Valley Sports is presented by FanDuel Sportsbook. From fabulous FedEx Four Mile Beale Street in downtown Memphis, Tennessee, the Memphis Grizzlies welcome in the Orlando Magic. Bain flashes foul line, sends it, scores a good sign early for Desmond Bain, who came alive in the second half, and particularly in the fourth quarter. Grizzlies losing Thursday at Boston, 120 to 107. Wagner and Bain getting involved on both ends of the floor. Morant for three. Bango! Morant continues his hot shooting. Anthony weaving, fading, missing, and the rebound to Jackson. Morant driving it full Anthony. Anthony in the Rising Stars game. Most of the weekend in Cleveland. Morant in the big game. Another three for John Morant. Six by Moran. Moran, another three. Good again! Moran, three for three from three. Moran drives on Wagner, spins, hangs, sets up Anderson for three and two. Kyle Anderson rings the bell from downtown. Well, this is what the Grizzlies are going to have to continue to do as the season goes along. Keep teams honest with their perimeter defense. Ten to shoot. Moran, yes, who leads the league in paint points. At 34 paint points against San Antonio. That's deflected, stolen by Melton. Grizzlies trying to get out and run. Morant, oh, Williams! Oh, pretty play! Zaire in the elevator shaft with the throwdown. Grizzlies by 15. Get up, Cardinal! Bamba. Rebound, Morant. Drives it full, Anthony. Sets up Zaire for three. Bingo! 
comes off the set up by Moran. Grizzlies by 20. Melton for three. Bingo! Great screen set by Kyle Anderson. A little flare screen. Great vision by Morant. Melton's rhythm knocks it down. Morant elevates to the cup. Jaren taking a page out of Steven Adams' book there. Just being a screener of Bamba. So John Morant has a clean lane to the basket. Thanks for this magic team, you think. Yeah, folks. We have Anthony. We also have Jalen Sullivan. Right. Only one of those guys is the guy that you would worry about in terms of perimeter, which is Cole Anthony. We have two other guys that mostly get to the basket three plays, and Morant creates his own shot there against Bum. 360 spin and a make for Morant. Okiki deep. And the rebound Zaire Williams. Morant to the cup and in. Tough angle fading away from the hoop. John Morant. Morant drop off. Adams hammers it down. Tyus Jones in. Melton, Morant, shifty move, elevates, and got the hometown bounce. 22 for Morant. He's trying for a franchise record fourth consecutive game with 35 or more. Does Dacus for three, and the rebound to Melton. Oh, the slingshot bounce pass, and the dunk, and the foul by Morant. The attack on Morant. <laughs> and it will be the largest win by the Grizzlies ever over the Orlando Magic. They sweep the season series for the first time since the 2014-15 season. From Memphis, you got John Morant, Desmond Bain, Stephen Adams, Jaron Jackson Jr., and the rookie Zaire Williams. You don't mind this matchup here. Christian Wood is excellent at moving his feet on the perimeter against the league's best guards. 4-0 Memphis. Green splits two, had it knocked away. Nearly taken back by Tate. Back the Grizzlies come. Morant, the lob, and the dunk there for Williams. When the Rockets are good, you see multiple attacks. It may not be the first or second, and that's what Coach really wants the young guys to buy into. But hey, the Rockets have done a good job of making Memphis play in the half court. There's that one lob, but, well, you can't have that. But, you know, you, you want to make them have to move the ball. Oh, Steven Adams averaging seven points per game this year. Already has eight for the Grizzlies. A little 2-3 zone look here for Coach Steven Silas. He wants to blow up the after timeout play from Taylor Jenkins. Great move there by John Moran. As Kaylee mentioned in the open, he is by far the NBA's individual league leader in paint points. Into Shingun, Moran stepped into the passing lane and stole it away. They lead the NBA in steals to the Grizzlies, and this time Moran able to step around Kevin Porter Jr. for the layup. Yeah, John Moran so tough to play against with a full head of steam, but the Rockets have to take advantage of these opportunities. Matthews didn't quite have a handle of the ball before attempting the shot, so it turned it over, and then the Grizzlies quickly back the other way. This is where they just, they get after you in transition, the runner, and it's now back to a nine-point lead for Memphis at 28-19. to Over the top to Adams, and the biggest and strongest man on the floor just dominating down low. Six of seven now, 13 points. And the oh, tap no. is won by KPJ ahead to Morant. Morant, be careful there. Wow. Morant's got 10. I was talking to some of their staff members before the game, and they're interested to see once they get into the playoffs how they can withhold and withstand some of these more veteran teams because this Grizzlies team is still the third youngest team in the league. Only OKC and Minnesota are younger. So they've got a little more experience over the last few years, but can they handle a, a long playoff season, a long playoff uh, a couple months there? I know Steven Adams gives you the Aquaman vibes, but he, he's a very high IQ basketball player, Craig. It's been on a lot of really good teams in his career. Morant behind his own back and it bounces through. Morant got by Gordon who tried to foul him. They didn't call it. And then Morant was able to lay it up and in. Oh, what a night for the Rockets as they upset the Grizzlies and they end the 12 game losing streak. We welcome you to Memphis from FedEx Forum. C.J. McCollum of the Pelicans is on a serious hot streak tonight. He is in the house of Ja. The 22-year-old All-Star is setting the league on fire. New Orleans taking on the Grizzlies, the third of four meetings. We've got it for you right here on TNT, the Western Conference standings. Memphis, one of the biggest surprises in the NBA, currently number two 
Snell comes up short, kept alive Valanchunas. Snell couldn't track it down. Morant likes to push the pace. Kick out. Jackson lines it up. Bottom, a three. Well, the respect you have with John Morant when he's coming at you downhill, he's going to shrink the defense. He's going to force the defensive uh, transition to get below the free throw line, and that just opens it up for a nice little spot-up jump shot for Jackson. Feed the post. Valanchunas, little bump. Comes up short. Good defense there from Adams. Valanchunas looking for a call. Morant, no look. Mm. Upstairs. Big finish. Zaire Williams flying to the rim. Now, as far as the on-the-court stuff goes, CJ's been telling his teammates, be who you are. I'll get in where I fit in. He doesn't need plays run for him. He's comfortable scoring or distributing. Shake. Fake. And now Morant will back it out. He has not shot the ball yet. He's just been distributing. Or he can do that. Yeah, well, and listen, but when you're a high-volume person in regards to usage rate, you don't have to force your offense. Morant draws the big, kick it out. It's one-on-one. -on -one. Memphis, eight of nine from the field. Morant, he lost it in between his legs, and that ball was tipped, so he's allowed to go back and get it. He's going to have to heave it. Uh -oh. Morant! Uh -oh. Jaw-dropping! <laughs> What did Willie Green tell us? He is driven. Oh, no, big time. Very much driven to be the best version of C.J. McCollum that he can be. Well, I think being in Portland prepared him for this moment in time, to be the leader, speaking to leaders. John Morant gets to the hole. Isolation, Valanchunas, the spin, the lean, and the fade comes up short. Morant, kick. Anderson with the offhand. <laughs> Kyle Anderson, slow mo. Alvarado lines it up. Off the rim. Yeah, good luck that time. Off the pick and roll, you know the defenses are going to go under Alvarado. You just got to knock that shot in. Melton from three point territory. Morant using the Adams screen. He beats Alvarado. He hangs. Yep, he yep. hits. And the harm. John Morant's got 13. Front end of a back-to-back -back for New Orleans. They are home for Orlando tomorrow night. John Morant gets things started in the third quarter with a bucket. And a little snake dribble got in between. That's a 15 feet again. Get into a set here with Morant. Cross, Morant hangs and hits. And the foul. John Morant getting to the 10. At this point, with all of the games missed that Zion has, what type of offer, if any, are, are the Pelicans going to be willing to make? Bodies flying, and Desmond Bain drills it from long range. Jumper Snell in and out, rebounded by Bain. Yeah, a lot of open shots that are being missed by the Pelicans. John Morant got a three. Marshall the curl, missed it against the grain, rebounded by Morant. Memphis will host the Knicks on Friday night, then at OKC. Another jump shot. The Grizzlies have been lights out from the perimeter, and DeAnthony Melton has been a big part of it. Tip, turnover, leak out. Melton. Oh, upstairs! Demetrius Jamel Morant with the rack attack. The Memphis Grizzlies with a blowout win over New Orleans. We welcome you to Friday Night Knicks from snowy Memphis, Tennessee. Knicks basketball presented by Chase. Second meeting of the season between the Knicks and the Grizzlies from FedEx Forum. John Morant matched up with R.J. Barrett, the alley-oop to Jarrett Jackson Jr. Here's Bean from three. Morant slams it home. We mentioned blocking out has become a lost start. Morant Coming along the right baseline with the stuff. Here's Morant, gave a step on Barrett. Bain from three. Bain can be a pain. He's a 41% three baller. So nine points early for Julius Randle. Picking up where he left off over the last couple of games. Morant lays it in. That's his second field goal. See, that's too easy how he does that. Four minutes in, first quarter here in Memphis. Knicks leading the Grizzlies by two as Morant pulls it back out. Randall should drop back. Make it beat you with the jumper. That's it. Grant from three. Well, if he's making that, then you're in trouble. Now you have to come up.
That's going to open up the penetration game. But. Morant for Adams up with the left hand. This hang time is unbelievable. Six, and they have won their last three games on this seven-game road trip, which will conclude in Brooklyn on Sunday. Here's Morant, goes to the left hand and gets the roll. A massive improvisation. And the Knicks can ill afford to try to run with these guys. They are the third high scoring team in the league. At 114 points per game, here's Morant. Morant now with 11. Emmanuel quickly has checked in for the Knicks, who trail by one. Here's Morant. He knocks it down. See, he's in that 12 to 15 foot range. Not a good sign. Robinson limping that time. Although we've seen him bounce back from minor injuries on so many occasions throughout yep. his career as Adams lays it in. Good double team right there, buddy. Moran, you Brandon Clark, the finish. Knicks will head back east. Take on the Nets on Sunday in Brooklyn. John Morant in the paint. Seven and a half remaining, third quarter. Quarter three, Zaire Williams. Williams has played well off the bench. Here's Randall gave a step on Anderson, and then he was met by Adams. And now Anderson with the alley oop to Morant. Oh. Could not finish, and then Morant somehow keeps it alive. Goes behind the back for Anderson. And Anderson puts it in. He's fouled by Gibson. We featured you at the top of the show, Mr. Excitement. Screen set by Gibson. Here's Fournier, met from behind by Morant. Kenny Albert along with Hall of Famer times two. Walk by Frazier as Morant finds Clark on the alley-oop. Here's Morant with the scoop. Richie, you use that left hand most of the time. Fournier turns it over. Here's Morant ahead of the field. Chased by quickly, Morant slams it home. So a bit of a surge by the Grizzlies here at the end of the third quarter. They've pulled to within nine. Jaw has 22 quiet points tonight. Driving on McBride. Morant into the paint. Plays it in. Nobody giving help that time. Next lead by one. Grizzlies have chipped away. Trailed by 15 at one point. Morant puts Memphis back on top. Here's Barrett spinning on Bain. Oh, Barrett blocked by Jackson. Here comes Morant. Randall back. And Morant takes it all the way. Knicks call timeout. 30 for Morant. Grizzlies lead by three. Contact between Morant and quickly as Morant puts it up. And extends the Memphis lead back up to five. 14 for John Morant here in the fourth quarter. Now uh, Randall driving on Clark, dishing off. Robinson couldn't handle it. Alley Here comes Bain, alley oop. Morant, the finish. Here's quickly from three, and that will do it. The Knicks, led by as many as 15, they hung tough against the team with the second best record in the league, but fall to the Grizzlies by four Morant with 17 of his game high 37 in the fourth quarter good evening everybody and welcome to the excitement of the NBA Grizzlies basketball on Valley Sports is presented by FanDuel Sportsbook from Paycom Center in Oklahoma City Oklahoma the Grizzlies start a four game road trip tonight they take on an Oklahoma City Thunder team that has lost four in a row but they have split with the Grizzlies uh, Stephen Adams changed that three from the corner by Roby Roby with an air ball miss Jaron steps into another three good again Jaron Jackson Jr., two of four from beyond the arc against the Knicks. Grizzlies, an 11 to 1 run. Good contest there by Kai. And Anderson cleans the glass, see? Takes middle on the break. And then surprises Melton. Loose ball tapped out to Adams. And a great find underneath, and Kyle Anderson gets an easy one. And now Moran, his second shot of the game, finds the bottom. Good job of just reading the game for Moran. We talked about early in the game, he does a great job with his vision. Oh, Morant has a lane. That opened up like the Red Sea, and Morant took full advantage. Morant, full head of steam, goes at Baisley, hangs and banks it in, and out of the timeout, the Grizzlies get the bucket. Morant against Mann, a spin and a pitch out. Three ball on the way, bottom out for Tyus Jones. Third time is usually the charm. Usually. Bain curls in rhythm, yes. 
I just love that little play with Desmond Bain where he curls to the top of the key. This is trying to get some movement. Gildas Alexander getting physical with Moran. He takes from the baseline with Aces shoot. Dylan cutting baseline. And Morant with his sixth assist of the game. Bain for three. Bango. Well, they have their point guard. They have their defender in Dort. And they've got a ton of draft picks. Morant hangs, hits, and draws the foul. Well, we got Morant. You can say everything and what everybody else has. At the end of the day, I got a trump card for you. Mm. 12. Yeah. A Morant three. Long rebound out to Zaire Williams. To Morant, he drives and finger rolls it in. Leading finger roll converter in the NBA, John ja Morant. Morant, a catch and shoot triple. Zaire is in. Zaire Williams. The Grizzlies now eight three point makes on the night. Gildas Alexander short. Adams reels in his 16th rebound of the game. Lob for Bain. I, that may be, I'm not going to lie, part the first lob thrown to Desmond Bain this season. Morant has Maladon on his hip, goes to the finger roll. He kept on his hip, and then from there, the explosion. Pokaszewski, no chance to contest. Bain flashes top side for three. Bango, big make by Desmond Bain. It's also a great move, though. That is what you like to see in late game situations. Morant, driving angle, got to the cup and laid it in. Morant was 16. Man hits the three. Hammer, nail, coffin, his baby is over. The Grizzlies win it tonight. They take the season series from the Thunder. They win it tonight, 125 to 118. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the excitement of the NBA. Grizzlies basketball on Valley Sports is presented by FanDuel Sportsbook. For in State Farm Arena in Atlanta, Georgia, the Grizzlies continue this four-game road trip as tonight they take on the Atlanta Hawks. Honestly, partner, it, it, before we were able to get Ty Jones, I thought DeLon Wright would be a fantastic backup with John Moran, and he right now is showing, oh, wow. Oh, Morant with a crafty move, getting all the way to the rim. Bain, another three. It's through for Desmond Bain. Miscommunication. Back triples by Bain. Yeah, miscommunication defensively allowed Desmond Bain the wide open look. Hunter pulls up for a long two and hits. It's a Hawks team. They take and make a lot of jump shots. Usually it's Trey Young with a step back, but they've got other talented shooters on the perimeter. Oh, and, and they don't discriminate from where they're going to shoot. Wow. Morant swooping to the hoop. When he, when, he, when he gets that step, he, he pretty much he takes off and then he just opens up and flies to the rim. Bain got a heater going. Bain. Under four remaining. Kyle pulls up and puts it in. Kyle Anderson, his first bucket, pulling the Grizzlies within one. Nice pass here. Clark, a good weight out of a Kongwu. Bogdanovich with a fadeaway. That's in. Yeah, they got a goal in right now. And for the Grizzlies, you want to continue to contest, make their shots hard, but what you got to do is keep scoring on this end. Morant elevates. John Morant, eight in the period to go along with four assists. Nin McMillan, 12-year playing career in Seattle. They still call him Mr. Sonic. I think it was the biggest upset in the Pacific Northwest. Morant banks that one in. It was the biggest upset in Pacific Northwest history when he became head coach of the Portland Trailblazers. Bain on the exchange. Dylan against Hunter. Morant explodes. Got by Gallinari for the finish. A dozen for Morant. A nice back Morant, goal. yes! That's how you start off the second half. The one thing that I wrote down on my, my little notes here, better ball and body movement. Yeah, there's Dylan with a takeaway. Morant tracked by DeLon Wright, and Ja will take it and slam it. And the Grizzlies with a burst of energy here to start the third. One uh, final postscript. You know, the Grizzlies lead the league in first quarter scoring. Hawks lead in second quarter scoring. Morant attacking oh, yes. and finishing. Uh oh, here comes the leading third quarter scorer in the NBA. John Morant averaging better than nine points per third quarter and 52% from the floor. A good defense here by Desmond Bain. Morant, one on two. Slaloms, scoops, scores, and draws the foul. We saw T. Moran at halftime, uh -huh. and he said, I said, T, what were the people yelling? I saw you standing up telling them to keep bringing it because we couldn't hear. So they were yelling overrated to John Morant. Uh -huh. He said, wait until it happens in the second half. Well, we're seeing what happens to John Morant has exploded here to start. Atlanta calls for time. Morant in his bag here in the third, trying to lead the Grizzlies back. Herder on the give back against the shot clock. 
Desperation heave would have been a shot clock violation. Moran had a clean rebound. He pushes, he attacks, he leans, he scoops and scores. And it's a no call. Grizzlies wanted an and one. Morant to the glass. And Atlanta sweeps the season series for the first time since the 15-16 season when Taylor Jenkins was an Atlanta assistant coach. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the excitement of the NBA. Grizzlies basketball on Valley Sports is presented by FanDuel Sportsbook. From fabulous FedEx form on Beale Street in downtown Memphis, Tennessee, the Southwest Division champion Memphis Grizzlies play the final two home games this regular season, starting tonight against the New Orleans Pelicans. Well, the thing for Stephen Adams, he has to be ready for the hustle side of Hernan Gomez. Morant lays that one up and in. Morant averaging 27.6 points per game. Brooks for three, gonna go right through the bottom. That went so high. Morant, oh great step through by Dylan Brooks and he lays it in. The, the, the passing this evening for the Grizzlies has been phenomenal. Morant, get to the rim. Oh, was able to get a clear lane. Lane was John Morant to get that shot. Seven for Morant. Morant, a no look, DB for three, bingo! Third assist for Morant. Morant through the lane, tried to pack it, had it blocked, got Valanciunas in the air, gets to the foul! A lot of miscommunication, guys pointing to themselves, saying, my bad. Bruce got to take advantage. Morant! Bain, a sidestep three. for Desmond Bain. Morant weaving, scooping, and scoring John Morant. McCollum averaging 31. Oh, Morant slithering through the crowd. Hernan Gomez has no chance. Melton off the pump fake. Morant, a ball fake, a no-look dish. Melton underneath, a corkscrew turnaround. Jay is in! Morant back in. Grizzly shot 77% in the quarter. Seven of 10 from three. Morant for three. Bingo. John Morant. And Morant will get hit with a taunting technical. He pointed back at Hernan Gomez. The biggest deficit New Orleans has faced this year is 44 at Golden State. Morant, another three. Good again. He's bad. Well, that's and BC is back also. We, we wanted to see more BC in the paint. Alvarado, Nance. No. Morant, no look to Clark. Oh, my. Oh, BC 10 for 10, the ninth assist for Morant tonight. Nance, oh, John Morant. The ultimate denial. How many point guards do you see come from the weak side and throw it into the eighth row of stance? Look at this. You can't even see the basketball he threw it so far, Martin. Grizzlies, seventh block of the night. Grizzlies tied the franchise record with their 56th win of the season. 141-114 over the New Orleans Pelicans. Grizzlies take the season series for the first time since the 2015-2016 season. We welcome you to the NBA playoffs presented by Google Pixel. Ryan Rucco, Richard Jefferson, Roz Gold on Wood A. Happy to welcome you to a fired up FedEx forum in Memphis, Tennessee. They are ready for what should be a scintillating series between these two young Star-studded teams, the Timberwolves and the Grizzlies. Game one of this best-of-seven first-round series is underway. Beverly hearing boos, and Vanderbilt gets denied at the rim by Jackson. Step back three, no good for Bain. Adams keeps it alive, but Russell there to flag it down. And D'Angelo Russell flushes down the first bucket of the series. Here is Edwards connecting on a three. Five-nothing start for Minnesota. As Brooks able to finish through the traffic, Edwards will fire again and hit again, this time along two. Edwards gets some space, that one short. 
Towns a second opportunity, and he reverses it in. Jenkins, 37 years old, in his third year at the helm of the Grizz, as Morant couldn't finish it. Jackson can. Here's Edwards. Pulls up and hits again. Anthony Edwards has the stroke early here in game one. As Morant soars to the rim. Towns with a hand in his face, still able to connect from three. Carl Anthony Towns, 40% from three in his career as Morant doesn't get the roll, but does get the whistle. As Morant follows it up and flips it in. Adams guarding him, Towns rumbling in, able to finish. Tough take. Here is Bain. Pizza pieing it in. Off the window. Russell, no look. Beverly steps into a three and hits. Here is Beverly weaving. Deals it out. Edwards gives it up. Beverly finds the ankle and the finish. Strong start for Minnesota. A 10-point lead here in the first quarter of game one. Here is Town. Yes. Hung up there a while. Crowd trying to encourage the Grizzlies after a slow start. How about the footwork and the finish from John Morant? Here's Towns on the attack. Towns barrels in for the bucket and the foul. A chance for three as Towns just muscled through Stephen Adams. Edwards fires it down. You know, Anthony Edwards also found some success early in the game. I know he's very confident, but how do you as a coach try to be aware of supporting him in his first playoffs in his first playoff game? What a rejection there from Jackson, and it last hit Minnesota. Here is Jones connecting on a three. Tyus Jones, the former plus-minus star for Minnesota. Oh, what a finish, Clark. Clark, plus the foul. Here is Edwards into the paint. Floats it up and in, counted, plus the foul. Wow. Anthony Edwards, a chance for three. Oh, Anderson throws it up. And Williams, the rookie, fires it down. Here's Bain, clear path. Able to finish around the contact for three. It's cut to four. Jones, the lob, Williams, the push. It's time. Five straight turnovers, and now Memphis has the lead. As Edwards couldn't get it to go, Morant spins away with the board, floats it down the floor. Two more easy ones for Memphis. Towns. Nice find. Towns to Prince. Bucket and the foul. Edwards, the crossover. Acceleration for the finish, plus the foul. My gracious. One to shoot. Towns lost it. Morant off the steal. Morant to the rim. Towns able to finish through the contact from Clark and a chance for three for Carl Anthony Towns. Oh, what a pass. Morant to Clark for the finish. Morant on the attack has it ripped away by Edwards. Edwards into the paint, draws three, kicks it out. One to shoot. Towns on a triple. Here's Towns on the drive. Gets by Jackson. His fifth rejection of the game. Jackson free with a And a thunder is thrown in. Edwards again. Here's Beverly, finds the cover, it's Vanderbilt. Minnesota right now, a plus eight on the glass. Beverly has the lane and plops it in. Bain will fire, and hit. Talk about him needing to get going from three. Yeah, that, that's what his specialty is. Jackson juggles, finishes, plus the foul on Vanderbilt. Here's Edwards. 
Guarded by Clark. Ooh. Step back mid-range. It is money. The confidence just dripping off of Anthony Edwards. You had that skill set, you'd be confident too. Bane on the other end with the arrow. Beverly hops in, dishes underneath. How about the last? Oh, what a rejection from Ja. Jackson Hammers. That is a well drawn up play right there. Edwards will fire and hit again. Anthony Edwards with 27. Whoa! Oh, Anthony Towns! Oh, my goodness! Oh, my God! Towns up, over, and on top of Jaron Jackson. McDaniels knocks it down. Edwards slides inside for two. That's 29 for Anthony Edwards. Russell gives it up. Towns with a shot clock fading. What touch. Carl Anthony Towns now with 24 points to go with 10 rebounds. Brooks connects again. On a three. Beasley able to finish over Clark. McLaughlin running the point off the bench for Minnesota. After not playing in the playing game, Towns skates in for the bucket and the foul as the block is called against Williams. Dane got that one. There he is. Towns, full head of steam, rocking the rim. McDaniel secures the board. In the corner, Beasley, he got it. Out of three. Jones accelerates, able to wheel it in off the window. Grant spinning his way, rejected by Edwards, flagged down by Beverly. Russell, he got it. Five to shoot. Towns will fire. No. Caught underneath and put back in by McDaniels. Here's Morant, bodies full. Oh! The athleticism just incredible as Edwards hits another three. He has a chance to catch that Luca, and the fact that we're talking about him already in the same conversation that Luca says hey. something. Wow! Clark with the throwdown on a gorgeous pass from John ja Morant. Morant slinking around defenders, couldn't get it to go, but Clark is there for the bottom. Here's Bain, he gets rejected. Loose ball, Minnesota has it. Beverly, ball fake, three, is good! Patrick Beverly connecting on a huge triple. Towns lost it, got it back. Edwards to the corner, McDaniels connects! What a three! Jaden McDaniels makes it a nine-point game. Beverly loses the handle, dives on the floor for it, and Minnesota able to retain possession and end up with the dunk. And that's it. The Minnesota Timberwolves go on the road and steal game one in Memphis. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the excitement of the NBA playoffs. Grizzlies basketball on Valley Sports is presented by FanDuel Sportsbook from fabulous FedEx Four Mount View Street in downtown Memphis, Tennessee. It is game two, Minnesota, a one game to none lead over the Memphis Grizzlies, but the crowds are here at FedEx Forum. It will be loud, it will be raucous, and they'll be waving towels that say, there's no running in the end. Beverly misses the floater, rebound Moran. Grizzlies attire the lead with a long one. Morant thought about it. Great give back, a scoop, and a score for Morant. That's what this crowd came to see. Morant from the foul line. Here's a Bain triple wave. Oh, my. I was going to say it was way too long. He banked it in. That's why he shot it long, partner. He was going for the bank. Clark screens for Morant. Clock for Zaire Williams. Morant against Beasley. Hangs and hits in traffic. Morant with six. Grizzlies back in front. Towns double turns and hits. Carl Anthony Towns with nine. Great job with Towns. He split the double to find the shot opportunity. Morant, great find to Brandon Clark. Dribble penetration by Morant, making it happen. His third assist of the game. Morant drives, finger rolls it in. Morant against McDaniels. Great find. Tillman with the dunk. And Morant 
his fourth assist and a foul on the play. Tillman comes in and immediately pays dividends, and Morant's dribble penetration is causing Minnesota some serious issues. Jaron, a step back three. Bingo! First three-point make for Jaron in the series. Bain drives, finger rolls it off glass. The difference in that move and all the other ones earlier that you see Ryan continued his momentum to the basket the entire time for that lay-in. Morant on the attack against Town, spins up under and banks it in. A bit of sorcery from John Morant to get free of Towns and then finish it off. Morant, a step back three, bingo! Timeout Minnesota! Morant, a step back three, bango! What a move and what a delivery by Morant. Morant in his bag. You hear me? Morant in the regular season, the leading third quarter scorer in the league, has 10 already here in the third. Bain drives and scores on Towns. Look at the difference in the drives now. That drive, just like the earlier drive, these are now drives where I'm going towards the basket to finish. They're not rerouting him. Zaire Williams off the inbounds. Yes, and the foul. Foul on Towns is number five. Or no, they're going to call it on Beasley, I beg your pardon. Morant against McLaughlin. Defenseless. Morant, another bit of brilliance. 21 for Morant. McDaniels for three. And that's... I'm not, I'm, Brevin, I'm not sure why he's even shooting threes. He's 0 for 4, and it, that's at least the second air ball. Love, Clark! There's the 10th assist. Morant's third career playoff double-double. Morant one rebound away from a triple-double. Had one in the regular season. Drives, hangs, hits. Taking a page from the book of Brandon Clark. It's final. This series is even at one game apiece. 124-96, the Grizzlies over the Minnesota Timberwolves. Welcome to, as Anthony Edwards calls it, the crib, as the first round of the playoffs is brought to you by Nerd Wallet, the Memphis Grizzlies and the Timberwolves. Game three of this series tied up at one game apiece. I don't think that John Morant needs Steven Adams to get him open. I think John Morant can do that all on his own. Bain out of the corner. That's a tough shot. He was kind of falling out of bounds and hits it anyway. And the Grizzlies are finally on the scoreboard. Good ball pressure there by Anthony Edwards. Desmond Bain cans another three. Deep three for Bain. Morant. Xavier Tillman coming into the game as John knocks down the three. Wow, that was breathtaking right in front of us right here. Beverly will take the three. Leads it short. That's five straight missed shots now by the Wolves. Clark drives that one in. I think Towns kind of felt like he was going to flip back, flip that back to Morant like he did in game two, but ended up taking, he's got good springs too, that made Brandon Clark gets up. Anthony Edwards, he is, he's kind of limping right now. And a corner three by Desmond Bain. Yeah, for the Wolves, you do not want Memphis getting this thing down to single digits as Morant now. Adds to the Grizzly run. It's a 15 to 4 Memphis run. Memphis had 11 wins in the regular season in games that they trailed by double figures. Again, we talk about peel action. Desmond Bain come up and sets the ghost screen that time and just peels up. Oh my goodness. Morant dropping the dime. Yeah, looking out below right there. Looked like Brandon Clark was dropped out of the ceiling. Clark able to get around Edwards. Has Anderson to beat, rejected by Morant into the stands. That was a dumb play, but I, I thought that Kyle Anderson followed Anthony Edwards in transition. Morant off the glass and good. Going back at it. So you can't use your challenge. You know, when the players talk you into using the challenge, as John Morant gets a layup, that's a difficult thing to accept when the referees miss an egregious call like that. The Grizzlies have never been tied. They've never led. They've got a chance to get it to one or tie. Bain looking for the tie, and we're tied for the first time tonight. So this has gone into a clutch situation. This has. 
Grizzlies won nearly 66% of their games have been to the clutch during the regular season. Second best percentage in terms of wins in the league, and they go back up by five now. Morant. Brandon Clark, 12 points in the fourth quarter. The Grizzlies win for their third time in franchise history. When they trail a playoff game by 15 or more, they move to 3 and 32 all time. We welcome you to the NBA playoffs presented by Google Pixel. We're here in Minneapolis for the first round presented by Mountain Dew. Game four, this best of seven first round series. The two seeded Memphis Grizzlies, the two games to one lead on the seven seed. Minnesota Timberwolves. Foul on Tillman. Towns, quick spin, committed to the air and turned it over. Here is Clark, who was excellent in game three. Off the bench here in game four, and a three is good for Bain. Crowd is deafening in Minnesota. Bain connects on another three. You put two people on John ja Morant, and he just makes a laser of a left-handed pass to Bain, one of the best three-point shooters in the league this year. Oh, Brooks gets free for the lay. Edwards around the town screen through the lane, can't finish it. And Morant secures the rebound, off and running, three on two, Bain, he got it. Another three for Desmond Bain, three for three from downtown in his first. He has 11 points. And then D'Angelo Russell was just looked like hit by Brooks on the inbound. He was down for a moment. Clark takes advantage on the other end. Towns, another feed. Vanderbilt, no look. Prince, short. And Morant skies him for the rebound. John Morant yet to score. Here is Brooks. He got it. Out of three. Morant said before the series, we want all the smoke. And then. They got the smoke. And then he, he tweeted out the Carl Anthony Towns clip of we in Minnesota now after the game three win. <laughs> so he certainly has drawn the attention of this crowd. Bain again from three. Desmond Bain has 18 points. He's five of six from downtown. Towns will fire. Short. Bain got what another on one, earth? leaning with and Beverly in his face. And he is pointing directly at him. When you get a guy like Bain that's shooting like this, it's not about it's not about him making threes. You can't let him shoot a three. Two for one opportunity here for Memphis. Morant jittering into the paint and finishing beautifully with the left hand. Edwards through the lane, can't reverse that one in. Time for Memphis, the flick ahead, McLaughlin intercepts it. Morant nearly fouled him, instead it's a steal and an easy lay. Woo! And those are the things that make you pucker up a little bit, that was not smart. Towns and Russell on the bench, along with Edwards for Minnesota, all three of them on the bench to begin the fourth. That's unusual. Clark floats it in. Now I wonder how long or can you keep your three best players on the bench? McLaughlin bounces it in traffic, taken away. Here comes Memphis. Bain gives it up. Extra feed. Morant to Tillman. It's a two-point contest. Timeout, Minnesota. As Edwards checks back in for Minnesota. 20 points, 7 of 13 from the floor, 4 of 7 from 3, and you hear the ovation. That's for McLaughlin going to the bench. And he deserves a standing ovation. That just shows you that every fan in this building is paying attention to the contributions that he gave in this in this first three quarters. 16 points, 5 of 6. Yes, that goes down from the corner for Jackson. Moran veering, finishing, plus the foul. What a response from Ja. Now it's T's turn to celebrate. Back to a six point lead. Grizzlies had just cut it to one. Brooks. Oh, that is a big three from Dylan Brooks. Man, I'm looking at that like that is good defense, but much better offense there by Dylan Brooks. And Ja Morant is getting off the ball, letting his guys work. Beverly missed them both. Door open. 
Here come the Grizzlies. Moran veering. Oh my goodness, what a finish. It's a one possession game. Clark. Don't contest. Bain hits the three. That's it. Minnesota has tied up this first round series at two games. We are in Memphis, Tennessee tonight where the stakes are high. One team will move a step closer to advancing in the Western Conference. Carl Anthony Towns dominated play in Minneapolis on Saturday night to tie this series up. Ja Morant, the NBA's most improved player, playing in the Grizzlies' most important game in quite some time. The NBA playoffs on TNT, the Timberwolves and Grizzlies deadlock with a big one tonight at FedEx Forum. Uh, miscommunication between Vanderbilt, Vanderbilt and also Pat Bev. Down the floor, Tillman on a rock attack. The miss by Towns who picked up the foul on the other end. Brooks trying to push it. Morant swing. Jackson fires, yes, on a three. 11-2 Grizz. Slab it up, slam it down. Clark, a Skywalker. Morant. Clark puts it down hard. Kick out. Beasley can't hit the three. Uncontested rebound from Morant. Jones, long distance. Count it. Morant. He draws Towns. Push shot. Good and a foul. Russell up the floor, turns the corner on Brooks. Tried to hit the cutter Edwards and turns it over. Leak out, Morant ahead, flush! Anderson flying to the rim. 2.42 to go in this first half. Morant drags two defenders, Brooks. Rainbow three, no, Morant is there for the follow. Two point game. Eight points in favor of Memphis. Now 34-22 Grizzlies on that drive by Moran. And down goes Beverly. Lead feed. Baines got the angle for two. Minnesota up by one. Jones is in with Moran. The triple drive. The off-balance delivery is sweet. Winner takes a 3-2 lead in this opening round series. Moran. Oh! And if there's anything that will get this crowd roaring at the Grizzlies den, it is Ja Morant on the full extension. I mean, sometimes you just got to let stuff tell the story itself. And Ja right there and Malik Beasley just not there. But our Chris Haynes was able to catch up with Taylor Jenkins. Splitting defenders, Morant lunging deuce. Cross, Morant hangs, gets the roll. Back to a one-point game. Morant gives it right back to too small, but that time it was directed for Pat Bev, but it was D. Russell that was guarding him on that trip. Shot clock at five. Edwards, the ball handling skills, stops, pops, and missed it off the window. Morant, swing it, Bain, fake, jumper, Jones, off the rim, slapped out of there by Clark, Morant, yes sir, Memphis in front by one. Get it in for Towns, back from McLaughlin, the bounce to the outside, the jumper, good, <laughs> it's Edwards, big time delivery. Tie game with 3.7 left. Brooks, trigger man. Brooks, toss it. Morant drives. Morant, oh, it's good. One second left. John ja Morant with the bucket. And that's it. A gutty grizzly win. Come from behind at home. And Morant is the hero. 111-109, Memphis to take a 3-2 lead. Well, again, 
if he wills to the basket one dribble, Ja is so good. He's able to get there. You have to force the ball to go towards half court. This time, you go for the steal. Anthony Edwards, bad mistake. Stay silent. You have the size and the lateral quickness to stay with them. Ja Morant. Call him and let him know. Thank you, Mike, and welcome everyone to Minneapolis. There's only one first round series remaining, and it may be the most entertaining series thus far in these NBA playoffs. The Grizzlies and the Timberwolves, two young, talented teams trying to learn how to win in the postseason. And they'll be fired up tonight here at the Target Center. Ain thought he got fouled by Vanderbilt. Looked like he did. Pass ahead. Morant with the steal. Desmond Bain goes inside, the layup is good. Yeah, letting a lot of physical play take place. There's Tillman getting his third start of the series. Beautiful pass. Morant kicks it out. Jackson, a good look. Three pointers good. Good movement. John Morant, instead of falling in love with that three point line, back cuts, creates that opportunity where Carnegie Towns has to help. Brooks fires away. Brooks answers with a three pointer. As Towns drives in, misses. Vanderbilt trying to throw it down. I think Tillman got a piece of it on the attempted follow as Morant finds Bain. Bain's been hot from outside and that continues, knocks down the three-pointer. That's just great patience by Morant, allowing guys to fill the lane. McLaughlin finds Russell, lob it inside, Towns. Shot blocked by Clark. Brandon Clark again, Towns upset, thought he got hit. Morant goes right back at him. Adjust layup is good. Rolls around and drops in. And that's why it's so important to not complain in playoff basketball. Sprint back, build the wall, and get the play back. That time, Carl Towns complains, doesn't get back, allows Morant a lane to the cup. Well, at halftime, I had a chance with Jeff to talk to Ja Morant's dad, and I said, what do you tell Ja in moments like this? And he said in not so many words. I cuss him out. I tell him to wake up. And sometimes you need that from your loved ones. Honesty and a wake-up call. Well, he's talked about that, that his father was his first hater. <laughs> nice feet inside as Tillman throws it down. That kind of tough love. Uh, beautiful feet. Morant's got six assists, but only four points. John Morant gets inside, finishes, and got hit. As Morant with just his second field goal of the game. D'Angelo Russell has Clark on him, shoots over, jumper won't go. Rebound goes to Jaron Jackson. Nine boards for Jackson. Moran again attacks the basket. Layup is good and another foul. Here he goes attacking the rim and another three-point play opportunity. Edwards pull up jumper. Jump shot won't go. Moran able to grab the rebound. His third. Brooks left wide open three-pointer. That's good. Dylan Brooks with his fourth three-pointer. He's got a 20-point game. It's back to one. Beasley guarding Morant. It's been a quiet night for Morant. Nice find there, and Jaron Jackson Jr. throws it down. Eighth assist for Morant. Edwards pounding Morant. Jones on the drive. Tough runner is good. Oh, what a difficult shot from Tyus Jones. Russell tried to thread the needle. Bad pass. Morant. Back out to Brooks. Dylan Brooks tries a three. It's good. Dylan Brooks with his fifth three-pointer of the night. Morant the drive. Gets inside. Layup is good. Oh, what a shot from John Morant. 17 offensive rebounds from Memphis. They lead by four. Four on the shot clock. Morant the drive. Morant. Jones just gets it off the time. It's good. Tyus Jones nails the three. Timeout Minnesota. Oh, what a clutch shot from Tyus Jones as the shot clock expired. Edwards, the three-pointer. That won't go. And that'll do it. The Grizzlies do it again. And they move into the second round for the first time in seven years as Minnesota suffers another heartbreaking loss in what otherwise was a terrific season for these young Timberwolves. A beautiful Sunday afternoon. The Mississippi River in Memphis, Tennessee where it is a grand time to be a Grizzly fan. Their team back in the second round of the playoffs for the first time in seven years. But now they'll face the most battle-tasted playoff team in the NBA, the Golden State Warriors, in game one of this best of seven series. As Morant, given a wide open three, and knocks it down. Boy, he really struggled from downtown in the first round, but knocks his first one here. Morant, two for two from downtown to start. Morant tries another. 
Tillman, the offensive rebound. Back to Moran, up and under, off the glass. He spins it in. And to me, that's where Memphis has got to punish this smaller Warrior lineup on the offensive boards. And that's one of their great strengths all year. Brandon Clark dominated that series against Minnesota with his energy and his effort. It was a coming out for him. And oh, a beautiful pass. Morant to Clark. He was spectacular in games five and six. Wiggins on Morant. Wiggins has had an excellent defensive year. Morant dribbles into a double team. Up top, Melton. That's a three. The Anthony Melton steps up, knocks down a three-pointer. Clay Thompson. Too strong. John Morant with his fourth rebound. Plus eight on the boards as Memphis. Morant gets in the paint. Flips up a shot and good. He was surrounded by defenders. And John Morant with 12 first quarter points. Neither team has shot well here in this first quarter. They're getting after it. Morant inside, sneaks it off the glass. 3.6 remaining. Morant. Tillman. Nice low short shot from Xavier Tillman. Curry. Shot clock at seven. Anderson on him. Well defended by Anderson. Curry tries again, gets inside. Shot block. Melton with the rejection. Melton alley up to Moran. Moran the drive, the floater. Got it at the buzzer. Moran tries another three pointer. Got it. Paul Moran. His third three of the afternoon. Again, he was four for 20 in the first round. Third foul on Wiggins. Jumper from Jackson comes right back. The versatility of Jaron Jackson. 17 points, a three-pointer. Wiggins gets inside. Shot blocked by Jackson. Moran, oh, the crossover, the layup is good. Another John Jem, and the Grizzlies go up by three. Timeout, Golden State. Jackson, left-handed, beautiful move. He has Wiggins on him, and he's going right to the rack. Clay Thompson can't connect. Morant, the rebound. Yeah, Morant has, has been rebounding demon in the playoffs. Jackson, a three. It's good. Jefferson Jackson, Jr. Got 22, and the game is tied again. Thompson, Wiggins, three-pointer. Got it. That's good offense. It really Dual, is. Dual penetration and the extra pass. And this happened earlier in that in the game as Jackson lines up another three. They're reluctant to switch Morant on to Curry. Morant to Jackson. And give assistant coach Chris DeMarco credit too for the diligent work he's put in with Poole as Morant hits a walk up three absolutely Morant's hit as many three-pointers in game one of this round as he did the entire first round Jaron Jackson jr. short that time Peyton had it lost it Melton right there Morant looking hooked away by Peyton Morant gets inside shoots it over him and throws it in goes right at him it's back to one back tip but Morant comes up with it Morant goes at Wiggins, gets in a lane, scoop layup, it's good. More Morant magic, and it's a two-point game. Curry, stolen by Morant. Morant, alley -oop. Clark comes down, back up, and he ties the game. Morant looks tired, but that can be very deceiving. Morant kicks it out, Brooks on the drive, Brooks with the flush. A wide open lane. And I like it. He didn't fall in love with that three point line. Get the high percentage play and attack. Morant, the drive, gets in the paint, left handed, count it, and the foul. Morant, mania here in Memphis. Grizzlies up by two. Morant looking. Thompson picks him up. Morant in the paint, spins inside, flips it up, shot is good. John Morant cooking here in the fourth quarter. Morant lobs it into Clark. Clark, it's good. That's great execution out of the timeout. Understanding that the Warriors were undersized, take advantage of Clark diving, puts it where only he can catch it. Inbound to Thompson. Thompson fakes, fires three pointer. Bang! Clay Thompson from downtown. And the Warriors back up by one. Bain looking. Brooks comes off a screen. 
Bain to Clark. Clark to Morant. Morant on the drive. Scoop layup. No good. It's over. Golden State holds on and wins game one. What a thriller here in Memphis. It's the NBA playoffs from Memphis. The three seed against the two seed in the Western Conference, the Golden State Warriors and the Memphis Grizzlies were ready for action. Jackson shot it well on Sunday. Knocks it down to open play. It's a tray. Morant waits. The beautiful handles. The step back three. Bottom. Nobody home. Xavier Tillman takes advantage. 8 nothing lead. Two minutes gone by in the first. Jackson off the double. Morant put it on the board. A three. 13-12. Memphis Morant. A push shot is pure. Poole's got moves. Off the double. Somehow finds Wiggins and misses badly. An air ball on a three. Morant leading the charge. Lob it up. floater from Morant. Warriors doing this without Draymond Green forced to leave the game after taking a shot to the face. Morant to the rack. Poole comes out defensively. Morant the drive, the kick. Jackson hits the three. Eight point lead at the end of one. Poole short on a three ball. Knock to the outside and look out. I think people loaded up in the lane that time on John Morant. Morant probing. And a jumper is good. Cross. Block from behind. Mickey first block of the game. Bodies fly. It's a five on three. Oh, Morant. A jaw lift. Morant spin cycle. Oh, Morant. The body control. The job pulls up with three beautiful shots right there. Right in the face of Andrew Wiggins. This is where you take advantage of the missed opportunities. Give Memphis. There you go. Count it. Ten point lead, the largest of the night for the Grizz. Bain, the banger oh. goes. So Desmond Bain starting to assert himself offensively. One point lead for Memphis, under two minutes to go. Third quarter. Morant! Count it. A downtown hit for John Morant. Catching fire, Williams, we're tied. Williams, is he feeling it? Oh yeah! One-on-one -on -one with Curry. Moran, back in, spin, bucket, and a foul! The Baker goes for John Moran, and a chance to tie the game. Moran, spectacular drive to the rim. Curry, swing for Poole, gets the step, ball fake! Bucket for Jordan Poole. Morant crosses. Left hand shovel for John Morant. He kisses it off the glass. Morant looking for a runway. Now a step back. Morant. Yes, sir. Curry. Drive. Back shot. Rolls down for Steph Curry. Under two minutes to go. The shake. Oh, Morant gets the roll from John Morant. Curry takes it in. He is 10 of 11 at the line. Down by three. Curry. Great look inside for Draymond Green. It's a one-point game. Morant, the drive, the floater. Yes! John Morant is special. Curry, 10 seconds on the shot clock. Travel, travel. Turnover. Warriors. The Memphis Grizzlies. Grit, grind, and heart to tie this series at one apiece. 106-101, the final. John Morant pours in 47 points to lead the way. And the Western Conference semifinals are all even. Welcome everyone to a beautiful Saturday in the Bay Area where this Western Conference semifinal has moved from Tennessee to downtown San Francisco. Game three of this fascinating series between the Golden State Warriors and the Memphis Grizzlies. And we'll have it at a sold-out Chase Center. Morant guarded by Wiggins. Barry Payton did a lot of the 
defending on him. Morant gets in the paint, stops. Beautiful defense from Wiggins. Zaire Williams fires away and hits a three. Speaking of youngsters, he's only 20 with his playoff start. Curry, step back three, comes up short. Morant coming out that 47-point masterpiece, including a bunch of three-pointers, knocks that one down, and it's 6-2. to two. Morant from way outside, that's good. John ja Morant with a long distance, and it's a 10-point lead. Three-point bombs right now for Memphis. Tillman, a three-pointer. Draymond Green picks him up. Moran on the drive, little hesitation. Oh, he knocks it in. Green was right there and defended him beautifully. About a five and a half second difference shot clock and game clock. John Moran gets inside, stays in the air and lays it in. He defies gravity. That was levitating like Dua Lipa sang about. <laughs> what are you doing, man? Moran from half court. Oh, he puts it in. John Moran from half court at the buzzer. His fourth three-pointer of the first half, and it brings Memphis with its seven. More Morant magic. It always pays to at least try those shots at the end of quarters. He has been spectacular here in the first half. 17 points for John Morant. Wiggins against Morant goes right at him. Sanger missed it. The follow. It's good. Wiggins, who has led the Warriors in rebounding in these playoffs, doing some scoring, got 17. That's what the lead is, as Morant quickly makes it 15. And Wiggins, guarding Morant, gets past using the screen. The floater bounces, and Morant has such a good soft touch in the paint as well. Pull this time, it's to the rim, using that left hand, a little closer to the basket. Well, when they throw it into green, and they run their cutting split action as Morant Attacks early in the clock and gets a bucket and a three-point play opportunity. Pull, settle, fires. Can't get it to go. Wiggins deflects it. Bain outlet to Moran. Wiggins' effort and energy tonight defensively on the board have been great. Oh, John Moran with another jaw jam. He's got 26. Moran, good extra pass. Melton open and rattles in a three. Anthony Melton with his first three-pointer. And that was against the zone. Good ball movement. Seven on the shot clock. Oh, beautiful crossover. Moran! Oh, with the left hand. Once again, spectacular play from John Moran. He's got 28. Moran crossover gets inside. Scoop lamp off the glass. Just one great play after another from John Moran. Final seconds here in the third. Our first turnover over this half. Amazing what we can do when we don't. Jaron Jackson kicks off with a three-pointer. Morant kicks it out. Desmond Bain gets a good look for three and nails that. It's a good sign for the Grizzlies that Bain's back feeling better. Jackson poked away by Poole. Jackson gets it back. Morant comes up with it. Morant, the crossover, the drive, the layup. Oh, he sneaks it over the rim. How does he do that? A much-deserved ovation from Golden State. They bounce back after... A crushing game two loss. A 30-point win. And now have a two-to-one lead in this best of seven Western Conference semifinal.